K, put a Z on the end Brendan Malik and Chappelle, everybody going in Wake up early in the morning, press play and let's get it in Cause we rocking with the fighter and he rolling with the kids Fighter and the kids, fighter and the kids Fighter and the kids oh! What's up? Da -da -da. Why are you looking at me like that? Da -na -na. <laughs> you look tired? <laughs> look tired. <laughs> oh, he he only gets that? Come okay. On, all right, all right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was sad for a second. I was like, oh, well, he probably gets it. You tell us what we're rolling, Chen. Hey, what's up? What up, Brian? What's up, it's guys? Thank you, Brian. Friday. Brian, I, I gotta redeem myself. What? Hold on, you save gotta, Apple? Okay. Save oh, it. I thought he was recording. recording. I'll save it. Oh, I'll, okay. Oh, what were we Brian, saying, I gotta redeem myself, Go okay? Ahead. Last time you were on, yeah. you hit us with that uh, that question. And you and said, I said Apple. I said apples. You gotta hit us with another question today. Well, well again. You don't I have hope. to do it immediately. Save right. it for when you want to save right, it. I'll come, I'll come up with Wait, another You gotta come up with another trick. Yeah, you blocked us. us. I love that. Yeah, but this time, no trickery. Straightforward. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just get a kick out of Brennan because I can tell, like, he's doing this. Watch this. He's just a start. He, start, he looks at me and he goes, <laughs> he's looking at my clothes and he looks at my hair and he just takes me in. I ate, Take I ate in. grated cheese last night too late. I went. I go, go now to bed on an empty stomach. We were on a cheese bender all night? Because yeah. daddy I, looks tired. Daddy ate a lot. See, now, daddy's, here's the thing about getting in, older. Daddy's uh -huh. inspo today, Oscar the Grouch. Okay. I know, yeah. Well, I got a little. You got three shirts. You got three shirts on. <laughs> My inspo is Yo, got three Oscar shirts the Grouch. Three shirts on. No, man, I got you, bro. You have bro. a wife beater, a great <laughs> shirt. You have a wife wear. beater like an old Italian from <laughs> Brooklyn. No, I didn't wear it. You, did, you always have wife beater. I know, and I did too. Don't, don't, you don't got to show the bucket. Let me see, daddy. You got a waist train on? Hey man, <laughs> don't say that. What if you lift up and you had Kim K skins on? <laughs> no, for me, I like having two layers because it makes me feel like I'm a little thicker. Yeah. Ooh, okay. I get it. I like that. I get it. Yeah, I, I like wear black that. to look thinner. Yeah, you do, right? Everyone, do, I mean, everyone does that shit. Every, everybody has. And also, you know, big guys can't wear uh, horizontal stripes. Why? We can't. Because make sure, it, like, it make even you guys look bigger. Really? Yeah, yeah horizontal on camera. Yeah, I won't do that. Molly, Molly, Molly. Every, if every on TV don't wear horizontal. Oh, I won't do that. You look, you look insanely big. I already know how much I, I weight two seventy five. That's a lot of weight. <laughs> hey, hey but how about he, uh, we're talking? I was like, yeah, I need to lose weight, and I was like, I'm like two seventy two. Not anymore. I'm down oh. ten. But he's like, yeah, I'm about, I'm about two fifty five. <laughs> But you're not though. <laughs> he goes, yeah, 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 I'm 55. You're not. He goes, all right, maybe 260. I don't think so, man. I literally thought I was 255. People lie about their weight and their height. No, I wasn't lying. A lot of lies. I just thought. No, that. he literally didn't yeah, know. Right now, yeah, yeah. yeah. 270. And you saw it on. Him. Oh, we oh yeah, we, we saw brought it. We brought Monday. a scale in. Oh, you did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's oh, dense. Yeah. You're dense. And then he sent us what does that pictures because you're, you're very thick. You're, you're, you're very thick. Like you're not you're, thin, dude. Your uranium is dense. If you were to pick up a piece of aluminum. It's very light. Okay, I'm, I'm with it. I'm uranium? With you. I'm, with you. I'm with you. Weapons grade uranium? Like if we're at a party, <laughs> now that's Cal heavy Cal shit. if we're at a party, Callan is like moving potato chips. Yeah, I'm like, you're like moving one. the melted cheese. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. It's okay. fucking okay. Yeah, you're thick. <laughs> thick. A yeah. thick you're melted thick. cheese. You try. You try to use uranium and all this strong, stuff. Strong though, and almost 100 percent fast twitch. That's what you say to people. But I, I listen. I it's said, like Cormier. I sent the uh, before. Oh, he said before and after pics. To Ooh, the brave. Group. We have a group chat. Be brave. What, all I said is you got to see it. All I said is that gut though. <laughs> <laughs> no, you said what that gut do, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what that gut do, is baby. That, that you put, you put, you put weight on uniformly though. I mean, it kind of goes all over. It's kind of, but you like can't his, really tell. But his shoulders and chest, he's yeah. you know. But that's you my problem, Brian. That's yeah. my problem. Is that I? It, it doesn't look like bad, but and your girl doesn't I mind. <laughs> I text her. I said, "I said, sweetheart, I weigh two seventy five. She goes, "How much did you think you weighed?" She care. She care. She care. She care. No, she no. She was just like, "You're her big Duh. man." But we're saying that's how you're her big man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're big, saying like her that. big panda bear. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm like taking a nap in <laughs> a wooden panda chair. Bear. And you like kung fu panda. Couch. I'm not a <laughs> kung fu panda. Yeah, I'm you're a big, big kung fu panda. Am I? Well. You're saying kung hey, have you ever <laughs> have, now? <laughs> hey, Brian. Now, have you ever met Malik's girl? Well, hold on, hold on, Brendan. Uh, here's the thing, man. Hold on, here's hey, Brendan. Hey, hold hey. on. Take it easy. Take it easy, man. His hands. Watch his hands. Hands fast. I'm just saying. Cut you up with his hands. Cut you up with his hands. Because we went to dinner. We went to dinner with his girl. She's a beautiful woman. You got a lot wider. Wait, wait. 
she, she, <laughs> no, no, hold on. She's going to hear this. Yes, she's going to hear this. Oh, I've already got it. No, no, no. no, no he's, a, he's already said it. No, but, I, but but it's a good wife. It's good wife. Yeah, it's she's, a good wife. Yeah, she's yeah. a beautiful woman. Oh, oh no, she's woman. pretty for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. She, why? Yeah. Wait, don't, don't say it <laughs> like that. That means he's not afraid of her. Wait, don't like Wait, how? What am I? What am I? You're not like Chappelle Black. You're bad. <laughs> well, he went, I don't see. I didn't. I don't see color. I wait, wait, what? Wait, <laughs> <laughs> are you guys? <laughs> but like, I don't <laughs> see color. I, don't see I, don't, color. I, didn't, I love how you walk in a straight path. I see potential. That's what you see. I see. I see a human being. So when you watch an NBA game, what do you see? <laughs> <laughs> Just a white coach. <laughs> Just Steve Nash. He's watching the Nets. Like, wow, oh, look at the white guy. <laughs> I follow the ball. <laughs> I love that. Boy, I For follow the ball, man. The I was talking to this, this black guy. It was in Virginia Beach. And I, you know me. I take in people. And I, I look at this guy sitting there. And I go, well, that's how I want to be built. That's an athlete. That just looks like an athlete. He's got gold teeth down here. Ooh. Turns out one of the servers is his cousin. So he comes over. Such a nice guy. And in fact, starts talking about how he wants to. He's kind of like a local tough guy. And he wants to fight. He's 31. And I go late in the game. I'm like a little late in the game. Could be done he though. Looks like an athlete. I mean, you look. You know, he goes. I'd fight heavyweight. I go. How much you weigh? He goes two twenty. I go. You fight one eighty five. Yeah, goes, you're one eighty five. I go. Yeah. That's right. You're 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 one eighty five. And we started talking, and um, and he, was, he was he was just talking, and he's just in a good mood, and he literally went like this. He goes. He goes. Man. Everybody's so nice to black people now. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it was so. I thought to myself, if that's the if that's the result yeah. of this shit, that's yeah. that's fucking yeah, pretty. I'm happy. Right. That's pretty damn good. Yeah. 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 It, was, it was cool, man. He like he felt well, like he was under siege his whole life. Virginia Beach. Virginia Beach. Oh yeah, I like mm -hmm. Virginia Beach. Yeah. Yeah. Virginia party, party town. Yeah, uh, summer party. You ever oh, been really? to Virginia Beach? I haven't been to Virginia Beach. Par years. Pop, they party down there. They party down there. Yeah. They party. Eat some drugs. I used to go down there when I was in college. You did? I was in St. Petersburg. Petersburg, yeah, 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 that part of Virginia. Well, it's, I was, I remember in, when I was in Virginia Beach last time. I we we smoked weed, and I'm not a big weed smoker. How long ago is this? This is when I was, uh, I was, twenty, Brennan. Okay. So that was like That's when the Civil War okay. was. Man, no, I'm, just, I'm asking. 1812, right? <laughs> they had the, they had the telegraph. <laughs> now, now at this time, were there separate fountains for? <laughs> guys like and Malik? Yes, there were. Uh, that's yes, there were. Yes, there Brown were. versus Board of Education. That's what you. Said. It was in the heart of Jim Crow. <laughs> heart, heart of Jim Crow. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> this is the thick of Jim Crow. <laughs> I, I will say I'm old enough. I am old enough so that when I was younger, and if you saw a white woman married to a black dude, it was like, hmm. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it was like, oh. My aunt made a, 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 a black dude, like, black, black. Like, black, bald, black. Like, black, like, black. black, black. 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 I remember. Like, Cadillac, black. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. And my grandma didn't talk to her anymore. Is that, that's what, just, she's just so old it's school. She's just so old. Yeah. And yeah. you can't, like, when they're stuck in those ways, there's can't like. Can't change them. No. Yeah. Well, this woman was talking. It's such to a me. shame. She was a, the mother of my, my friend, and she said. She did the, she was like, and you know, and so she was doing this, and then something happened to her. I'm done it. She married a black guy, so she was, and uh, <laughs> we're like, well, <laughs> whoa, 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 what is that? What, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. what is that? Which means you're a little fooey. Yeah, yeah. There's still that stuff though. Like what? Like Fuck when yeah. you hear no, but, but but I mean, these guys both are Caucasian women. Girls. Yeah, Caucasian. But my favorite is mm -hmm. like it's not about racism. It's a little bit about. Like so, when you hear things like this, you hear this about um, they're talking about a, uh, well, this. Is white, this is my impression of white guys talking about a black, a black person. <laughs> All right, they, tread lightly. This is how they. This is how tread lightly. This, 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 this is how they. This is how they. This is how they describe somebody being smart. Okay. Watch this. Uh, and he's very articulate. Very articulate. Yeah. You're like, uh, oh, so he speaks clearly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, mm. That is true. So there's a little yeah. details, but but we're making progress. It's all we're, fun and games. Like on King, this thing we had this uh, guy call in. And uh, he's in a Tesla, and he's talking about how him and his wife have been together for seven years. And he's like, and there's just no, like, the sex is terrible. We're too familiar with each other. We have kids. And uh -huh. he's like, she's down for an open relationship. Yeah, bring him a stranger. I went, I went oh, that, that that sounds fun, Bubba. And you open it up. He goes, yeah, I mean, it could be fun to mix it up. And I go, yeah, she, like, talked about anyone she's into. He's like, yeah, this guy, Jerome. Like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> there it is. You hear that drum, that big black dick <laughs> coming that house. Mm -hmm. And when you see your girlfriend with double hands motorbiking that oh, thing, oh, yeah. double, double yeah. hand motorbiking. You know you're working. You grinding yeah. cheese? Yeah. 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 You want a little pepper? Yeah. 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 Who wants pepper? Yeah, and that exists out there. And you can see it on his face. He's like, yeah, Yo, you're right, man. Maybe, maybe it's not a good idea. Maybe it's not yeah. better. Water, the water a little deep for you? Yeah. Water a little deep? Yeah. That's when you, it just makes you work harder. I embrace that kind of challenge, and yeah. I endorse that kind of activity. What do you mean? Bring a stranger yeah, wait, in. Wait, wait, oh, listen. you're talking about nesting. Sometimes when, I'm sorry, nobody wants to talk about this. Okay. When the relationship is stagnant, need a little danger. Need a little danger. So what do you, can, uh, yeah, I'm uh, to, you're, so you'd be open to it if you're with your girl? I want to talk to the three of you guys. After the show, what? What? Oh, you want you want the kids and 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 big thick care to take what? a spin on your girl? Hey, wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey, man, too. By the way, what you licking? What you funny? Is my... <laughs> I'm in the corner like this. With your coffee stained tongue? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. wait. Don't spin. And I'll have coffee. Why are you all I'll have you coffee like this? I'm like, oh, yeah. Am I up now? Am I? Am I in? Hey, someone tag me in. My shirt. I'm in my underwear. Just gut. You tag me in. Chappelle. Chappelle. Tag me in. Chappelle. Y'all just. She's like the other guys were fine, but that big brown one smelled like coffee. He's really mean. Coffee. He didn't take his glasses off. It's weird that I said that and you guys got quiet. You guys went. I did it. What? I was all for it. I went. I went. I was just. I go. You know. I want to talk to you guys about. You know. And you guys went. They tensed up. I mean. Well, that's like saying. Like, listen, a lot of black dudes get asked for that cuck holding shit. Is that true? Yeah. Oh, yes. yeah. yeah, hell yeah. Oh yeah. Don't, yes. don't act like you guys. I had, a, don't bro, I had an application. I had an application for this. Yeah, I did. I filled, filled it out. out. <laughs> I, I, told, I told you what. My, my mom's off you now. She's on Malik. We're in a group chat with my, with my aunt Nubby and my mom because I always sent a picture of the kids and my mom went. That Malik is yeah. just good looking. Appreciate I get that. I, I I would be. We'd be on the road and I'd get that. It's when you realize you're older. Now, you get lost in my eyes. We know this, my charisma, but. What? Not since you got the lids done. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know it makes a You know you fucked up, right? You know you fucked up, right? Why are you blinking like that obsessively? <laughs> Did you look. Hey. Exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> what a waste of time and resources. Listen, man, when you get older, it's like that. You, you, you're, I'm 54. It ain't getting better next year. No, the, the only thing you could do, Bubba, is you got to go real serious, and we got, we're going to have to cut the scalp a little bit and pull everything back. What you got to do is okay. when you do a facelift, okay. please understand this. For men, whatever reason, it's way more complicated than women. Mm -hmm. Now, for men, you, you have to understand. You're getting your face taken off. Like the movie Face Off. No, they I take love that yeah. movie. Yeah. They, take, they take it off? They take it off. Because because they got to move everything back. They got to move everything back. The entire face. Yeah. Wait. Now, while, while the surgeon I know was doing that for a man, it was a 13-hour operation, the Black Lives Matter riot, uh, w w protests yeah. that turned into a riot in Beverly Hills where they were breaking the windows. Uh -huh. And they were he's on the second floor, and they were breaking the windows of the pharmacy on the first floor and coming in. Guy's yeah, face and is he's off. Got, the guy's got the face off. He's like, I got another four hours, five hours to put this guy's f -f 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 face back on. Oh my gosh. And somehow they kind of just kept going. I mean, ah, break it in. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. His face is off. You yeah. yeah. Well, you should give him his shit. That's the last thing you think. Sorry, your face. I'm sorry that your face is It's clean. a major, yeah. major. So what happened to him? They, they, they fixed it. They oh. fixed it. He yeah. said it would turn out great. But that, that shit. Are you going to do that? I sure am not. Oh, okay. I was just making sure. Dude, you can't. No, hey, no, man. no, 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 no. <laughs> Look, man, I'm a little swelling. <laughs> I like how you keep doing you, you I, I fucking ate grated cheese. Yeah, you keep saying that. From a spoon. And yeah. I, shouldn't, I knew it was going to kill me. It was It was 11 o'clock. I'm watching that doc documentary on crack. And I'm, and oh, Snowfall? Have, you see that uh, on Netflix? No, that's Netflix? an FX show. On Netflix? No, what's it called? Documentary on crack. The War on Drugs? War on Black People. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Is it called The War on Drugs? Yeah. Well, crack, crack, crack was, you know, cocaine... Back, especially was the seventies. It was actually the uh, eighties. So 80s, cocaine 82, was 83, 84. was uh, predominantly a white drug because it was more expensive, and yeah. then crack was the cheap drug. And they made the laws for crack way worse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's most, what my dad was selling. And black yeah. people got caught with crack, so rolls. they went to prison for a long fucking time. As in, Meanwhile, as in, if coke. you had this much crack, so you, if you got that as a white kid, you 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 know, hey man, mm, don't mm -hmm. do that. Yeah. You didn't go to jail. If you were, if you were. 22. I remember this so well. I remember it so well. My buddy was in jail for a little bit and I yeah. went to visit him. And he said, See that guy? And I saw this young, like athletic looking black kid who was like 22. He was doing a 23 year stretch 
because he was selling crack. They made it cocaine. really hard on black I'm people. I'm talking about crack. people People were put away yeah. for 20 and 30 years, 15 years, minimum sentencing, was Rockefeller laws. Yeah. They said, <clears> no matter, the judge couldn't, the judge literally couldn't do anything. There, the was, power. there was a guideline, that's how it was. Yeah. It was called the war on drugs. And so what happened was you were taking dads out of the home. You were yep. taking brothers out of the home. Right. You were taking sons out of the home. Yeah, and they, the, the they came figures. back and they, and then to add insult to injury, so now you come out and it's been, I don't know, uh, 20 years. You got no skills. No and you nothing. have a felony on your record. You got a felony, it's so no you're time. not getting housing. You can't even live with your mom because nope. your mom lives in a, in a project yep. or your mom lives in, a, in, a, in a, an association, whatever it is, and they don't want a felon in there. So you can't even live with your mother. You can't live with your family. So now guess where you live? On the street. You literally just told my dad's story. <clears throat> yep. Well, that's what. <laughs> that's, literally, yeah. that's literally exact everything you just said right there. Because I'm it's sure he impossible. tried getting a job when he get out. Oh my God! Yeah, it's he, he tried to, but it was so impossible. And he he wanted to do right because he wanted to get back in uh, into mine and my brother's uh, life. Yeah. Right. He was he was trying real hard, but he goes everywhere was rejecting me. He goes, but the only way I knew how to make money, and you know, he goes. I, you know, I'll just try to do it for a little bit to make some money to get on know, my to feet get, to get on my feet and you know be back in your guys' lives. But um, is that when he, he got caught? He ended up getting caught. Well, you go back. So to he, what he you did know. a total. Of, he did a total of seven, 17 years. Gee, yeah. Yeah. warehouse, Gee. just warehouse. Yeah, and you can never raise your kids and stuff. Well, the, the, yeah. the big one. A lot of people aren't. Well, I mean, guys, yeah, it's, it's kind of getting attention. But you know, they passed uh, marijuana in New Jersey. They obviously it's passed here in California, Arizona, it, Arizona, New York's going to pass it. But what's fucked up is just guys locked down for long stretches for life, marijuana. For life. Long stretches. Oh, how yeah. how crazy is that? For life. And it's Super like, so hold crazy. on. So you're going to change the rules because the, the economy needs money. So you're going to change the rules on weed. But then what about these guys? Because now you're cool with it. And because they no. did when it wasn't cool, now they're, they lose their fucking lives. Yeah. And their dads and their brothers. Anytime you have a massive government movement, like what you got to be very careful with these things. The war on terror. That, that that war has been going on for 17, 18 years. Long as running war, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and Iraq. Uh, now, to the tune of over $11 trillion. Because you got to understand. Say it again. $11 trillion. Trillion. That's a thousand, that's a thousand billion. <laughs> that's a thousand trillion. billion. A thousand billion. A billion seconds, 33 Bezos years. Bezos doesn't have that One money. billion seconds oh. is 33 years. So um, if you're real lucky, you might live three billion seconds. If you're real lucky. Usually, most people live two billion. Seconds. You guys, I guess, about a thousand billion. billion. Yeah. S a thousand billion. So eleven thousand billion. Try to put that in mind. On the wars, the Middle East wars, which have been expanded, and what happens is there's money in it. There's money in Oil. fighting drugs. There's money in fighting mm -hmm. terrorism. Yep. And, and so when you when you label something a war on drugs, the war on terror, you better be you better be very careful, and you better look at who's actually doing the dying, <sighs> who's doing the dying, it's and who's up, doing huh? the suffering. It's so fucked. You, up. We always had conversations about this, but we all can agree the CIA put crack or cocaine in our neighborhood, right? Uh, well, that's what. Well, that's. The I narrative. don't know. I've heard that. Yeah. I I I, I don't see the, my problem with simplified. You got to be careful also with going. The CIA did the. It, it might have been rogue elements. So okay. so there are rogue elements in any group that can make money off stuff like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. I just know that cocaine is big money. It is. Cocaine is big money. Mm -hmm. And the biggest well, consumer It's a billion dollar business planet. a year. It's an $11 billion uh, business I'm a year sure. for the cartel. And you know the number one consumer? America. America. Of course. That's what so I'm saying. Like, so if it's like, it's a huge market. There, so you like, could we take out the cartel in a week and release the special force hounds on them? For sure. Yeah. Again, it's an $11 billion business. And exactly. an, yeah. And, and so it starts from the top though. If you want to eliminate drugs, well, there's other fires to put out. I think also you've got, if you have the big, you're not stopping. Who? Good luck stopping everybody from doing cocaine. Yeah. You ain't stopping. <laughs> yeah. We no. know this. Hey, B, have, you, have, you see, have you heard read the book, The Silk Road? No. And they came out with a movie on it. They just did a movie on it. Stevie's actually good friends with the guy Ol oh, yeah. Ulrich or whatever. Yeah. But his concept, I I vibe with it. I fuck with it. He, so he started in Austin, and he had all these failed like careers and stuff. And he was like, what I want to do is uh, basically Amazon for drugs, where it's a safe marketplace because yep. he believes in you know freedom of speech, everything. Like mm -hmm. You have the will. If you want to do drugs, do drugs. So he, he had good intentions, but then, and it was all Bitcoin. So the way B Bitcoin works and the way the Silk Road work, you couldn't follow, you couldn't track it. Mm -hmm. So you had bad guys trading stuff on there because start off as like a community in Austin and they, you know, sell shrooms and, you know, uh, ecstasy and marijuana and people were getting these packages. They couldn't believe it. Then it blew up. He did an interview on Gawker 
and it just blew the fuck up. And he was making, I think they said over $7 million a day. Once it started, he was making $7 million a day. But, the, the, but have, have you? The, 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 yeah, I have a question. But, but here's the thing. So it's all fun and games, but that's mm -hmm. just not the way it works. So you know what he's doing now? He's a double life sentence. Yeah. Two so years crazy. Life, double life sentence. But, but plus here, 15 here, years. Here, plus 15 years. But this is where he gets dicey, and this is where me and Stevie disagree. Stevie's like, oh, do you really think you should get life for that? I'm like, no, I don't think he got life for his business aspirations and having an open market for drugs. He got life because as he kept going, he was doing murder for hire. Yes. He, wa he wanted to kill two guys. And there's an informant, a, uh, a FBI agent was undercover, got on there, learned the system, and became friends with him. And was uh, texting him like, you know, what do you? This guy's gonna fuck us over. What do you want to do? And he's like, kill him for me. Ooh. So they have it d two, twice. Yeah. So, that's by, where, so by that's the way, where, yeah. yeah. By the way, that's just that murder. Yes, yeah, so that's what I said to Stevie. I'm like, and the, but here's she the thing. Got got so that yeah. FBI agent faked faked the murder. Obviously, he wasn't really killing. So he faked it and sent the guy pictures. But that that owner Ulbricht's uh, intentions. He he all for all he knew is that guy was murdered. Mm. Even though the murder, they're like the murders never happened. I'm like, it doesn't matter. He thinks they did and ordered yeah. those murders. He ordered the murders. He ordered come, on. You, you, come on. But that's their defense. Like, but they never. No, nobody was killed. It's like it doesn't matter. His intentions. You ordered, all, as far, ordered a hit. As far as or, he knows, have you they were been killed. on the? Uh, it's very interesting you're bringing this up. Have you been on the dark web? Uh, no, 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 no. I mean, back page. Life is dark enough. Because somebody brought me on that dark web. By somebody, even Sam weekend. Tripoli. Nope. <laughs> Ari Manning. This weekend. What would you By do accident. Uh, oh. I, I don't want to get into And it's, it's basically the Silk Road. It's dude, still going on. Dude. You can they, order whatever you he, want. He goes, there's whatever you think is the economy on the, our regular thing. Because I, he goes, there's a there's an economy you can. And I, I don't know if it's illegal to even be on there. I don't know. No, it's you not. You do IP scramblers. He was showing. I said, I want to see this. He was showing me. He was showing me. Like they, so that you have, a, you have to have an IP scrambler. You have to have all this different, you know, stuff. But there is a I don't know there's a multi-billion dollar maybe trillion dollar economy oh, going on on all the drugs all, it's so and, hilarious and, 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 the, the, and the darkest arts you can well so so murder so, you can watch so murder videos if you're a on drug there. dealer you can have drugs mm -hmm. pure drugs sent to your home yeah and when something apparently is sent to your home you can't get in trouble for it because you didn't send it mm -hmm. as long as you don't sign the package mm -hmm. yeah so you know I don't saying? know yeah yeah something like that yeah. right so I was looking at all. I mean, and so you think, well, you get ripped off. No, it's a, it's a, it's a system where it goes into escrow. The money goes into escrow, like with, um, I guess with like a house or e something, eBay or something. Yeah, but there's a middle point. You can, so you, don't you get got fucked. murder for hire. You got, you know, uh, beating up people for hire. You got, and then you got I, apparently, and I, I, you know, I, apparently the child pornography on that fucking thing is it's so beyond what people realize. So it's so a real beyond. problem. But uh, have you noticed? It's, it's like I I only heard about it on I think it was Sam Harris talking about it. Uh -huh. Like we don't even understand what it's what's really. People going. don't realize That's how big child porn on. is and it's, like child uh, sex trafficking. Yeah, it's, it's super big though. It's yeah, horrifying. but you notice a lot of those rings and obviously it's barely making dent. But a lot of those rings are getting taken out. You see it on the news, but they don't give credit to anybody. But it's that the the Epstein's girl who they have in prison right now. Mm -hmm. She's telling them who to go after. And you notice a lot of them getting taken out right now. Yeah. Is that true? Well, behind, the scenes, like, behind the scenes, though, we that's don't. good. Yeah, they, they don't give her credit. They're, 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 every week, someone's getting busted. There are rings. It, it's there her. Are fucking yeah. There are rings of people that, that communicate with each other yeah. and trade child pornography. And what that means is that those children are being exploited somewhere. 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 It's a so it's a whole system thing. going on. Well, yeah. And, and but it's drugs, it's, it's weapons, business, it's exotic yeah. animals, it's great. It's an entire ecosystem. You got a whole mm -hmm. tiger out there? Uh, you got everything. Whatever you I want. Couldn't, I'm Literally whatever at, you want. It's categories. You can even watch people get killed. Yeah. It's horrifying. Well, I think about like the like when it comes like to Jared, the Fogel, the subway dude. Yeah. yeah. Like he couldn't be been the only person. The other people other people get caught up with him. They find they they're, so they're they're so you have to show if you want to be in a group you have to show a an image of of a you with a child or a some child being exploited and it has to be current so you have to prove that it's current it's not old that you didn't get it from something else that you are the one who originated it somehow yeah there are all kinds of shit there are all different there's world there's a thing called world market there's another thing all different markets all over the place and i was just like i i and i said i go am i allowed to are we allowed to be on this fucking yeah thing? yeah you're not getting in trouble for being on there 
But in, but the, in the also you got these young, smart, younger, smart millennials who are doing this. They're they're even a step ahead of the government as yeah. far as that stuff goes. Yeah, like Apparently, they'll catch them eventually, but yeah. they're on to the next thing. Yeah, yeah. And so is the cartel. Like the you know, yeah. especially when Trump was president, he locked down the borders and wouldn't let anybody come in. They were saying the, this <laughs> detective and uh, feds were saying no one adapts better than the cartel. Like we can shut down whatever we want. They always always find a way to adapt Catalyst. and get drugs through yeah yeah, yeah. They're, like, they're like it's unbelievable yeah. like most don't like we'll take we'll cut this leg out from underneath them and you know they they do figure they do all right and then we take another leg then they're fucked cartel we take one leg goes right back because when you talk about the cartel you're talking about the highest levels of government and the military and the, if there's that much money mm -hmm. if it's a billion if you're gonna make a billion dollars if i say to you and you're working in the government or whatever and i go i'll give you a million dollars mm -hmm. yeah yeah, but, but the risk yeah, is high. Yeah, but, but also, take one time to get cut. Though. And, but yeah, also, but think how much money there. Think how much money there is, and you look at the big far farms, the business they're doing, the money they're making. So if you legalize all drugs, like m uh, most people agree with, then they'd miss out on that money. So that you know the the dark money of yeah. all that okay. billion dollars, because because the cart you want to cut the cartels' legs out, yeah. legalize drugs mm -hmm. I agree. Have stores popping up and those mm -hmm. cartels are fucked mm -hmm. that's what I'm americans saying. are like we're just gonna make our own shit you we know people are gonna get high what just make them legal make them legal. And, and zone it I, and tax it and yeah and, 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 and then make money safer. and make, make money, money and bring the economy back but that's violence with that way as well 100 yeah. percent. of course it does because if you make the penalties that strong the people willing to take those risks are bad people they're gonna kill to get that you know they, they have to enforce You're a the whole dark, code of conduct dark world yeah they have to you know, that's why I got out of the trade. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> what? Oh, wait, 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 you're a little drug dealer? Where, where, where do you think I've been? Not on the dark <laughs> web? I, 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 oh, fuck. I didn't know that's you what you've been doing this whole time? <laughs> fuck yeah. You're a little old drug dealer. Get, 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 fucking money. You were selling ass? Yeah, no. No. I didn't know, I didn't know what kind of ass. Can you imagine? He's smuggling drugs in that old ass. All fucking gray, like Yeah. Wait, no, don't, don't, what the, why you're this part of it? Get it, get it, get it, get it, I'm a, one tear. Yeah, wait. <laughs> this guy cried. <laughs> and you just hear the cartel guy in the back like, you can really load him up. Man. <laughs> He's old, but man, can you load this boy up? The words, the words I can't and no are not in my head. <laughs> pack it in, fellas. Oh, pack, pack, it, pack, pack it in, amigos. I'm an equal opportunity employer. I don't see color. <laughs> Dude, that's a fucking so <laughs> that's a slogan. That's, that's a slogan. I'll that's buy a slogan you. I'll right buy you. I got I'll buy you. You know, buy I'll buy him. I'm you buy him. I'm pipping B. Right. Hell yeah. I got a fucking tailpiece. That's why you I do goblet You got ass? <laughs> they call him the gray mule on the web. Oh, the gray, shit, mule. The gray, gray mule. mule. That's what they the gray mule. mule. You're Bro. a liar. They'll call Bro, go. I'm fucking in Virginia Beach. Yeah. And I'm doing stand up. I fucking got these motherfuckers going, Weathered World! In the middle of my job, I'm trying to get a bit out. I'm like, fucking shut up. Yeah, yeah, that's the worst. The gray mule. The worm. Worm. The worm. And the gray I'm mule. The gray mule. The old everything. wrinkly gray mule. Yeah. How do Fill them up, boys. How do we get the, how do we get Fill, the contraband? Whatever you got, fill them up. Yeah, how do we get the contraband across borders? It's a Ooh. lot of stuff. Get the old rings. Get the gray mule. The gray mule. In the movie, they just go, call the rings. Yeah. And I take, call the rings. I take a belt and I'm like, what do you, what do you got? Fuck. Clint, uh, you, <laughs> <laughs> just go, you got my stuff? You got my stuff? They give you the leather belt in your oh. mouth. Oh. All right, let's Has your teeth marks on it. Yeah. They're all dip this in some lube. Yeah. <laughs> I got the lube. It's for the money. Man, y'all getting intense with this, this shit. Yeah, it's, this, this is, is a, a movie scene. Bit much. Listen, nah, it's a movie scene. Zero Dark Dirty. Like, well, just just lube and zero, zero Dark, dark dirty. dirty. Starring Brian Callen. Ooh. Ooh. Directed, zero Dark Dirty. Directed zero by dark Clint Eastwood. Starring Brian Gray Mule. Callen. Brian Gray Mule, Gray Mule. Yeah. and you're the you're the mob boss. Fill him up, boys. You're all big and strong and yeah, shit. Yeah. The opening scene is called the rinks. <laughs> <laughs> called the rinks. Yeah, you come out. Like, one you man. See, you show me all the stuff, and I'm like, all right, give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> then you know how the movies are the one man, a lot of drugs. <laughs> one man, one hole. You can't <laughs> fill him up enough. <laughs> This guy can take it all, <laughs> and he will wall out. One man saved the cartel. Yeah, y'all going? To, yeah, yeah, this is. Yeah, no, I'm into it. You are into it? Yeah, sick going. movie though. It's a dope ass movie. It's Zero it's dark dirt. This all. summer. Yeah. Theaters are back oh, and, a theaters lot, are and a lot grayer. <laughs> Keep going. Theaters are back. Yeah, yeah. It's wrinkly. He's the candy man. He's the candy man. You got to clean them drugs off, though. Yeah. Clean them off real good. Oh, wow. Well, you know, well, then right. then there's a scene of people fighting. I like, well, I need my fix. That's when me and Chappelle come in. Yeah. What? Yeah. 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 I can play a little crackhead. You guys crack are actors. Yeah, I can play a little crackhead. 
You can play a crackhead? Let me see. Yeah. I play a crackhead. You know, I used to Actually, grew up in Hold on, hold on. I grew up in, I grew up you in like Louisiana. That. You went yeah. like this? Nah, nah, because they ask you a lot it's of questions. like, nah, it's more, they ask you a question. Hey, man. They, they talk high. Hey, like, man. Hey, man, listen, man. I don't got it today. Right? I'm like, what you mean? I like, don't beat cheeseburger Eddie. Come on, man. I'll suck okay. your dick. <laughs> he doesn't know who that is. Come on, man. I suck your dick, man. He's like, what the? What you say? I suck your dick, man. Come on, man. And next thing you know, the scene, you see him just giving him a head. Now, here's the thing. I won't give you head, but I wash your car like a crack. Yo, fake it. I, I wash. You wash oh, oh, you brought. Oh, no, that's, that's cheeseburger. That's, yeah. cheeseburger. No, that's cheeseburger. No, cheeseburger. No, Eddie. and boys uh, in from, the uh, No, 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 and Terry Crews is just jacked. Yeah, steroids. Right there. Uh, there he is. Come on, man. That, that dude. Come on, man. I'll suck I got, got these cheeseburgers, cheese man. And then I'll you know they're good. the good cheeseburgers, too. It's the greasy bag. <laughs> yeah, I know, come right? Come on, man. Oh, is this, that's Menace to Society. That's, how do you movie. guys know that movie? I remember that movie so Come on, well. man. It, do you, man, and you know the main actor of it uh, couldn't get a job after that. He was so typecast. That that? Uh, uh, no, no, no. Tyrus Kane. Tyrus, Tyrus, Kane. Uh, Ty Kane. Tyrus, uh, Tyrus Turner. Yep. Yeah, Tyrus Turner. We don't know his that name. Kid was, that kid was just... He was unbelievable. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, Brian, you seen it? Yeah. Menace to Society? Yeah. yeah Classic. My, what was your favorite? What was your favorite? When I was, you know... What was your favorite scene? Yeah. yeah. I think... No, I think the... I think the most powerful thing was when... You, I think it was Ice Cube. And he went out to. No, it wasn't Ice Cube. Was, He's uh, not in. No, no, no. Who, who was it? When, when you see him. When you see him. Yeah, that's all right. You hey. see him and he just disappears in yeah. the end. Remember that? He died? Oh, I know. He knows what he's talking about. No, he's, no, he's on a different no. movie. No, he's boys in the hood. You're oh, boys, boys in the hood. hood? Yeah. You're boys in the hood. I remember Menace Ice Cube's in Boys in the Hood. I remember Menace Society when she goes, I feel sorry for your mama. Yeah, that's it. There you go. Okay, bro. Okay, B. There you go. That's open scene. That's open scene. I feel sorry for your mother. He said, what you say about, about my mom? Cat, cat, cat. That was so Cat, cat, cat. What the and fuck, man? And then they're watching the video and going, oh, like yep. that. And then you see the dehumanized, how dehumanized they were. Yep. That was so fucked I up. feel sorry for your mother. And he would he would have got out okay till he said that. Till he said that. Just take, all right, man. Yeah, we he would have been fine. I and feel he just sorry for your mother. That's what, he was the guy who. And then he went and shot the. I love how you say at the end, the guy disappeared. <laughs> Chin, can you help <laughs> me with this? Chin. Oh, what happened? I was going to go. His, his thing went limp. What the fuck? <laughs> his shit went limp. Oh, God, I had a... Yeah. I had a... Uh, I got a ticket today, a parking ticket, because I didn't get outside in time, and uh, it was the best parking ticket I've ever got. God, where are you living where you got to pay for parking on the street? I was in Venice. I, it was street cleaning, and I had yeah, my Yeah, Venice other, don't fuck around. Oh, you parked up... Oh, what's today? Wednesday, Wednesday, the street yeah. cleaning? Yeah. I bought a Prius for a... For somebody, oh, I remember that. And then they got it stolen. Yep. You Don't the buy money, it. You got and the money back for insurance? No, it cost me a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Everything about it cost me a lot of money. I was just driving one day, and I, I, this guy who you know he's been in, he was in the war and he's a veteran. And yeah. I wanted yeah. to help him out. He's and crazy. I'm driving, and I go. He's crazy. I go. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy this person a car. Well, you're gonna lease him a car. And then what he did? He went. Nice. Oh, thanks for no, the. I bought it, Bob. I bought it. Oh, you bought it. He, yeah, he, bought it. He, so he's like, oh, I'm gonna buy this guy a car. The guy went, cool, Brian. Thanks. Went into a store and they left the keys in the car unlocked. And somebody took and it. And it, it just—it was just bad. And then they—they they fucked it up. So I, had, I had to have an okay mate made. I had to have fixed. I had to, it was a disaster. But it doesn't matter. Now I have a car. And you have the it, Prius. It, yeah. Did you get rid of the Tesla? I gotta move it at times, but uh, no, I got the Tesla. Okay. I'm Hold still on. in the lease. You drove. The, you I'm drove. Still in that lease. Lease the hard contract? lease is hard to break. You can't break them. They're like, oh no, you can break them. Just give us the eight payments you owe for the rest of the year. What? And O'Brien overpaid because I don't pay attention. You don't know cars. I also don't pay attention to numbers enough, and yeah. I need to. Yeah, who you I'm like, I know. And I'm like, mm -hmm. he and I are the worst this way. Yeah. And fucking, uh, but the the guy was giving me the ticket. I come out, I go, ah, he goes, I'm sorry, man. I already took the picture. I hate and when I they go, do that. Yeah. They, do, like, they always say that. Is there not a delete button? I, and he looks at me, and he True. goes, he goes, but I'll tell you what. If you pay this in the next 40, 48 hours, they'll take $20 off. And I go, you're a good man. And he goes, you're an honorable man. I, went, I don't think that ever happened. I go, you just, I go, you just trump my, I go, you just trump my, my compliment, right? Uh -huh. So I'm looking at him as he's writing it, and he's an older man, uh -huh. and he's tight. Yeah. He's put together. He's okay. I mean, put together. And I what go, ethnicity? I don't see color. Okay, okay. I, I, love, see I love color. you. Yeah. I, let me think. I remember if it was a shade. It was I remember a shade he had. Of gray. A, yeah, what's the shade? He had a. He had a, uh, a a green brown. You know, it's whatever that. Color is yeah, for a, yeah. and that tends to look good. Yeah, that uh -huh. tends to go with. It might be cheeseburger. Darker yeah. color, a darker skin. I don't know. Sure, sure. Yeah. Maybe. Let's go with. Tim and Cruz. I go, I go. You stay in shape though, and he, you know me. 
And he goes, oh, yeah, always. And I said, he goes, and I said, you stay in safety, always, 67 years old. And I went, damn. I go, you're 67? I go, what's your secret? And he goes, and points. To God? Uh-huh. And I go. God sent him workouts? I always envy people that have, I could tell that he had complete faith. And he's writing. And I said, I said, yeah, man. You know, I always think about how lucky I am. He goes, nah, luck is for people in Vegas. You're blessed. You're blessed because you didn't sleep on the street. This yeah, is a full he, conversation. He's black. He's full black. conversation. Oh, and then he's, black. he's black. Yeah. He's black. Yeah, I was going to say, is he right here? Yeah, he's black. <laughs> and then did you, go, yeah. did you go, yeah, super blessed. Uh, did, you, <laughs> did you see my 2020, though? <laughs> no, right. super blessed, but right. Right. I just want to run some shit by you and right. tell you how blessed <laughs> I am. Because 2020 was yeah. tough, dude. It's tough. But I could see this dude who was so, yeah. he was so put together. And disciplined. so positive and so disciplined, so yeah. fucking disciplined. Yeah. You look at a 67 year old man like that, he's been through Respect it a lot. all. Yeah. Respect. Yeah. He's been through it all. I literally, I kind of was like, and, he, and then he, he said something else and he said, uh, You have a great day, huh? And it's all up here and just whatever. And I was like, Thank you. And he just took <laughs> off in his little Prius. Fuck it. He beat my ass. Oh, he yeah. beat your ass, 67? He beat my ass. Fuck yeah. I, just, just by his. Just by the fact that he's I, I like, yeah. I like you know I mean? when old guys are jacked, like in really Dude. good shape. Cause you think how tough it is to get in good shape when you're like 50 and 60. Oh, really? This stuff now. Yeah, it's hard like right now. And they're jacked. And it's little details we always talk about, like everything about like the way his hair. It was like military. Yeah. Like he, mm. he just he's, was a, he's disciplined a disciplined man. Dude. Yeah. And which may have come from being the other way when he was younger. The streets. Who knows, right? Who knows? You, maybe he was in the military. Yeah, or he had a crazy life, and now he's he's happy. Up, huh? He's happy yeah. to Smooth be talking. Buttoned up. Just, just direct. I yeah, mean, he, I mean, he obviously pure, pure de-escalated pure. the situation because you got a ticket and you were happy about it. So I was he's pretty fucking good. I went, thank you. Have a great day. Yeah. God Come bless. back tomorrow. I'll park same way. I said, God bless. I never said God bless. I'm not even religious. Uh, God, bless. <laughs> God bless. you. God bless you. <laughs> point of but you felt it. Three sixteen. Three sixteen. Three sixteen. Jesus <laughs> saves. Because sometimes Jesus saves. You will make you feel so good about the world. You're like, why can't the whole world be like that? I, if I had, if I, you know what I went to? I was in the shower and I was like this. I was fantasizing about being Jeff Bezos. Uh -huh. And there I was like this, and I was like, I wanted to be like, hey, you know what? You know what? Guess what? I'm going to do. What? I'm buying you a house, sir, and I'm going to buy you a car. Yeah, and I'm going to buy cool. you all the furniture because you're worth it. Mm -hmm. I had a whole fantasy yeah, about Daddy's it. Daddy's not ready for that, though. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. But I want to be. I want to hey, be. No, no, hey. no, no, no. I want the time to buy random people houses now and cars. Now it's not. Car Daddy needs to take care of himself. I get excited, though. You see, I get emotional. I know. Yeah. And you're I there. I was I locked in Thank with God you. you didn't promise him anything. How about how about I'm buying I'm, you a house? He's all, where? <laughs> what? Now you're locked in. Fuck. How about I was at I was at our gym zoo gym yesterday and I, I had my headphones in. Mm -hmm. I'm working out and again, it's older black dude in shape, some dime piece girl. He's taking her through a workout and he goes, "Hey man," and I'm like, "What?" He goes, "Hey man," I take it. He goes, "Bet you glad you didn't move to Austin now." Oh. <laughs> 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 That's so great. That's so funny. I, I get people doing that all the time. They're like, no, "No Austin for you? You're not following Joe?" I'm like, "Yeah, no." Yeah, he's like, "Bet you're glad now, aren't you?" Yeah. And I was like, "I know." And he's like, "Yeah, part." He goes, "It's he's funny." He goes, "Now people are dying. I don't get down with that." He goes, "I don't want that to happen." He goes, "There's a little bit of me that relishes in them suffering right now." <laughs> I was like, "I hear you." Yeah. Well, but like, let's talk about Texas for a second. Like, it's cool. And you Love can have, Texas. Now, 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 now around Texas. Austin, you're going to be paying the same prices because everybody's moving down there practically, right? I mean, the whole, you got all the... Oh, it's I, going up. Yeah, and, and then also, I don't know if anybody's been in Austin Summer. between June and yeah. September, mm -hmm. but... I don't mind hot, but... I mean, that's, I mean, that's a valley. Hot. But, but, that's but a also, the, the, the other point is, is like, if you look at, depending what tax bracket you're in, if you're at houses in, let's say, in Cena or Woodland Hills here for what mm -hmm. you can afford, and then you go to Austin, you want the same house... It, you're paying the same, dude. Correct. You're gonna save on state taxes. That's right. But you know, you, you, that's people's biggest thing is state taxes. Yeah. Well, as yeah. Why but, but which is nice. You can't, for sure, you that's you a can't fucking. Can't ultimately plus. bet against California. Not when it has the beach in the sun. Oh, just about you can't. Not when it comes popping. Yeah. Right? When it comes popping back, like, yeah. there's a reason. Did you Did you ever think about moving to Austin, or were you? You know, everybody's talking about we it. We all did. But, yeah. I, mean, I think the creative, the creative. Um, avenue is to go out here like so many creatives know so many people with the positive energy mm -hmm. I love that spirit in LA you can't get that in Austin I agree with you there. I mean to an extent you could build it I mean they're gonna have more of that with Rogan and the rest of those people following them it'll be a nice I think Sugar, it'll be a nice girls moving out there yeah maybe it, you're gonna have a the worst case you're gonna have a hub because you have more creatives there and they're gonna build 
Segura, one thing we know about Segura and Rogan, they don't miss. Yeah. So if they go out there, they're going to be successful and build up. Mm -hmm. And people are going to be attracted to that. But there's no reason you can't have L.A., Austin, New York, as yeah. far as comedy goes. Yeah. And they're in the middle. Remember, Texas a long time ago was a fucking beast for comics, man. Some well, great you know, comics. Na Nashville, Nashville's Ralph not far behind. And Nashville's so lo centrally located that you can it's drive to a lot of gigs. Nashville's not centrally located. But, but it, it, you can drive to a lot of like Southeast, Compared to Bubba. being all the way west... And when you're in Nashville, it, it, it's an hour and a half flight as opposed to a six hour flight. You know, so if you're going to Florida, okay. if you're going to anywhere, if you're you, going to Kentucky, yeah. if you're going to all these different mm -hmm. places. New York's what, probably three hours from there? That's not bad. No, terrible. New York is uh, an hour and a half. No, not from Nashville. Look, look, no, no, wait, dude, Nashville's southeast and then fucking Tennessee? New York. It has to be three, I bet two to three hour flight. Three hours. Let me see. What is it? Two and a half. Two, two and a half. Two, and but really two, two hours and 15 minutes. Two, hour, two hours and 15. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Yeah. Compared to like the six hours that you're, you know, you're that's like going from to here to Colorado. Yeah, so it's a little bit. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, it's, but, it's, but Nashville's popping because you got Theo out there now. You yeah, got Nate Bargatze. You have they, some good comics. Yeah, they do something. Josh Zan Wolf. Zanies every Monday. Every Monday. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm doing a yeah. I'm doing it. Isn't I'll, be I'll be there March third. I'm doing a live podcast with Steve Burns. Yeah, that's why. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. Hungry. yeah. yeah. Big and hungry, baby. Big and hungry. Nothing big or hungry about it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Every Monday, big and hungry. <laughs> it's fun, though. Does, does Steve good. have a nickname? He calls himself Stevie Cakes. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Yeah, Stevie Cakes. I, I get it like that. Do you say we were, trying to come up with, we were trying to come up with uh, nicknames. It's like, I'm the man dragon. No, nope, you're not. Nope. I'm the man dragon. You're the earthworm. Watch, watch, watch. <laughs> That's pretty scary. Watch. I saw a game of that. <laughs> No, I'm not into it. Dude, oh my that's god, fucking... bro, that sounds so bad. No, 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 I'm a man dragon. No, so you sound no, so fuck. No, 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 time out. No, time it's so stupid. He didn't warm up. He didn't warm no, up. No, he keeps trying to bring. It. Oh, it's it's not catching. No, no, watch. It no. is. Hold on. You, you remember you Mean now. Girls when the when yeah. the girl keeps trying to get some like word to catch? Fetch. And she's, she's like, like Jake, would you quit saying fetch? It's not gonna catch on. Drop it. I remember that. Would you quit with man dragon? He didn't. He didn't warm up. You ready? You good? All right, I'll let you. I go. Here you go. I go. Here it is. Oh yeah? How about I singe ya? <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. That's fucking That's powerful. Bravo. See? I felt they it. fucking got sin. I felt it. I fucking Cat and felt Jim it. got sin. Hey. Shit, so did I. Hey. Yeah. What is that? What is that? Just hey, shooting be, just, out. Shit's hey B, down. listen, oh, listen your boy down? here. Listen your boy. Stop. The stupid dragon stuff. Man dragon. You're you're the weathered worm or your rinks or your big gay owl. Or the gray mule. Listen, you're the big gray mule. Listen, so he, he, he committed to that motherfucking bro, dragon. Bro, I felt I'll it. give him that. Thank you. You committed. Bro, you did it three times. And it, and it got, you know, the, the huh got yeah. deeper yeah, I towards the I end. I could have held it, but I did. But, but, could have held it. You know, it is a little different. And, you know, it. I, Donkey would have loved it. Yeah, you're you. like, no. Fucking man dragon. Not into it. Sam Tripoli calls himself the fat dragon. The fat dragon. He's not even fat. Yeah. He's not in shape. He's what? Sam. Sam. What? Sam. Sam will tell you that he's the put on some, Yeah, he's got some. Yeah, he's built like really? a lieutenant at a fire station. He does he's not just look like fat to you me. know, like he's retired. He's got a thin face. But what? Why does he call himself the Fat Dragon? Hey, dude, how about this? I think we may have to go on Conspiracy Social Club where we talk about conspiracies. I think we have to jump over to a different platform like Rockfin. Because uh, and leave Patreon. Well, because Vimeo. If you talk, Sam was talking about he was disparaging. This is fucking so crazy. This is like weird. Sam was. You're not going to fuck up our show by talking about this, are you? No. All right. Go Sam on. was disparaging a political figure. Okay. Who? My, Andrew Cuomo. Okay. And we got kicked off that that we got kicked off Vimeo because you can't spread misinformation i debunk the conspiracies right so he comes up with a conspiracy and yeah, i, he I brings try it to, to debunk them, right and what's he saying about andrew and his brother well he was he was taking an extreme view on on when andrew cuomo sent covid positive patients back to the nursing the homes, old folks got it that, to flatten the curve what i was saying is that he wasn't trying to murder people but he was trying there was a political thing he, it looked, he looked good managing correct and and it wasn't in his interest to have a bunch of people die well, he no, he's, getting to recalled, he's getting recalled now yeah like why would he want right. that he's gonna lose yeah. his job right his his approval ratings in the but sam thing. had a different take on it meaning and meaning that that he's a sociopath and all that oh wow. when you do that Vimeo goes. You are you're talking conspiracy, but that's an opinion. That's the show. Dude, yeah, that's not that's, that's got, something. So this, we got taken but, down. But, 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 but people but, can't but, watch but, conspiracy social club. So I got to go over to a at, fucking at all. 
No, they took the, if you're if you're talking conspiracy. So Vimeo right. Vimeo has a thing where you can't talk conspiracy, even though I'm really? debunking it. Vimeo it said you cannot. Did someone reach conspiracy. out to him? Go. You know the show is one guy spits conspiracies, the other guy argues against them. Doesn't matter. That's we the tried concept? to do that, but what they do is they just say you violated the st terms. No. Of the and, and patrons on Vimeo. So yeah, so if you're on Patreon, they use Vimeo as their video. People like to watch the they're, podcast, they're right? Hostings, yeah. Vimeo. So now, do you know now this, we got to go over. Yeah, to, I signed up for it. Yeah, I'm gonna did the whole thing. Now, now, like Patreon, I, I didn't know Vimeo. Fine. Oh no, no, I didn't know about them. Yeah, that's Vimeo. Could, yeah censoring. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know. That. I didn't know that. No. So Patreon, this must be a new thing, right? If, if because people, behind a paywall, it doesn't matter, Bubba. But doesn't matter. They have their policy. That's See, in, that's all, insane. But but this is what we're having freedom of speech. It doesn't exist. You you have so as long as the narrative fits whatever they believe in, yeah. you can do the, the show. The New York Times, what's her name? Uh, 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 Stacey Abrams, I think. Uh -huh. whatever. She tweeted. She just tweeted that the Democrats um, wrote a letter demanding what uh, demanding what Comcast, AT and T, all these huge cares are going to do about Fox News's spread of misinformation. What about CNN. Dude, what about the left's that's, channel? That's, that's, that's their narrative. Both of them are, are full kidding? of shit. There's been, so we're dealing now with, oh, no. with, with the power structure's idea of what misinformation is. What they deem yeah. conspiracy. And so if you say, I don't, that, huh? if you cannot say, you cannot say, if, you better, if you're on YouTube, right, you cannot say that masks don't work. If you say really? I don't think masks no, they'll, are they'll effective or that effective, you are you are in you YouTube. Can we're not saying that. We're not saying that. We're not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying. No, but if yeah, you yeah. mentioned but that, but do you hear what you, we just did? You hear what we all just did? Yeah. We all just went. We're not saying that. Yeah. In America. Well, you know, uh, I th it was either on King's thing or this. I said we were roasting somebody, and I said you look like a proud. And you know they pulled the entire video. There you go. Really for the proud. Reference. Yeah. So all Tripoli said was he's a sociopath. Well, Tripoli. Well, he oh, came well, out to be conspiracy fair, Tripoli theory. goes crazy with conspiracies. But that's, yeah, that's yeah. what's I does. personally, that's a, yeah. I, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I just think a lot of them are are actually destructive. I don't I don't agree with them. And I know a lot of people do, but for me, I think it's important to push back on conspiracies because a lot of these conspiracy theories, and I'm not talking about Sam here. Sam's one of the nicest, best people I know. Great. But a lot of conspiracy theories, whether people know it or not have their roots in old school anti-Semitism. Mm -hmm. It goes back to the Nazi era. It just does. Yep. I mean, it, 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 say what you will, but at the end of the day, Similar when you start talking parts. about the Rothschilds yeah. and all these bankers, they're all Jewish bankers. You're, yep. you're, what you're doing is spreading, you know, and I also am pro, I, I believe in vaccines. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I study a little history, and when you have these massive, it is a problem when you have like Russian and Chinese, you know, elements trying to spread disinformation about vaccines and then you get, and there are a lot of people that are works. very distrustful. It, it works. works. So I, I, I understand that big tech has a lot of issues. The, the, the worry for big tech is that when you do have real misinformation and it starts gaining traction and it can get people killed like it did in, with the Rohingya and different countries, yeah. you watch so, The Social Dilemma, that's mm -hmm. a real fucking problem. Yeah. That's a real problem. But, but, then but that, you that go misinformation, it also did with COVID, right? Like some people didn't take it serious at all and ended up dying. No, but a lot of doctors, a lot of the doctors who were saying, look, we're on the front lines. The stats you're hearing are not, not right. consistent not with consistent. the stats yeah. we are seeing. Mm -hmm. The stats we are seeing are lower. Mm -hmm. They got pulled. But but here, here's they what else. They got pulled for yeah. saying But that. here's what else. You know, CNN won't let the brothers interview each other. They yeah. he, He's... he's Prevented, leave, he, they won't allow him to interview his brother about any of this. Personally, I liked seeing those guys talk, and I and I know I knew Chris. I like I like seeing him too. I, I liked Chris. Chris. Chris, I believe Chris Cuomo. Like he gets a lot of flack for being a liberal and stuff. If Chris Cuomo was from my experience, and and also know people who are still in touch with him. If Chris was here hanging out, or we were out, you he's a he's a guy. He's a guy's guy. And he's yeah. not a he's a he's a very reasonable, thoughtful guy. He's mm -hmm. not. He's full of shit on CNN though. But so so is the Fox guys. Uh, yeah, that, I mean, I they, told, to me, it's almost a character because like, they, you, have to, they have to. They have to. Because yeah, they their have ratings to. No, they get yeah. they get They get told what to say. Like, their ratings they're, they're, depend on talking his to ideas. their echo chamber. They right? have writers. Yeah. They have writers. It's but not of like, of course, they just read off the monitor. Yeah, and then they put their input in. And he's yeah. obviously, you know, far left. So yeah. these motherfuckers don't even necessarily believe it. Um, not well, all. There's no way they believe all of it. I think that you'd, you, you know, yeah, I think someone. But, like, but but I think the to to back to them pulling like what's fake news and all that, and they don't want misinformation uh, spreading. I think the media and especially the news. I don't know how it is in the rest of the country, but especially here in L.A., like 
I know for and CDC is going to release this. So they're saying, oh, you know, there's the Brazilian strain, there's the African strain. It's much more deadly. The CDC came out and went, that's their, that's what, that's their take on it. Yeah, we gave them this information where, yeah, it might be more uh, contagious, but it's not nowhere near as deadly. That's yeah. not true. But the yeah. news takes it to scare you. Well, the World, World Health out. Organization also drives a lot of the CDC said was like, no, no, no. You guys took what we sent you one way and you're running with it. Yeah. So, so here, here's I the guess, facts. Okay, so then, what, yeah, what's your guys' sources of, you know, where do you get, yeah, where do you get your news then? I think Not Fox and CNN. Y- 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 okay. You can listen but to you- Fox and CNN. You can do that and you can, you can listen to it with a grain of salt and just understand that depending on who you're listening to on those news organizations, mm-hmm. that they are as much opinion makers their opinion their their so so they have an agenda they have an yeah. agenda they, they're speaking to a to their echo chamber mm-hmm. so tucker carlson speaking to people that already agree with him and already have a preconceived and they double down on the world them. yeah and they die and on the, that hill yeah and then so laura ingram that's the angle now if you go over to you know to cnn or cn um, rachel maddow she's going to be speaking to people who have who lean left but they're yeah. also yeah. C- so CNN, that's what makes it but t- cnn's like here fox is here and then you can listen to both and come here. Yeah, like the BBC, but, but it's tough BBC, because NPR, so BBC, NPR. BBC is great. Yeah, there, there's a lot of like, the, some news organizations try to be super neutral about things. Mm-hmm. But you have to always listen to how they're phrasing things because it's very hard. You know, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, yeah, I'm no, about, I get I'll you tell you what. I'm about to release this. This uh, Did I tell you about this? I'm about to release this, this interview tomorrow mm-hmm. with a guy named Alistair Bostwick. Yep. Alistair Bostwick, I sent you that thing on, he said he had that YouTube thing on what Chris D'Elia should have done. Yeah. And he also has another thing on, on the That's truth information about, we could have used yesterday. And, and, yes, <laughs> and, and, and he also has a video on, on the truth about Woody Allen and, and his well, allegations. Oh, his documentary You, you got to see that. No, you, but you got to see what he, no, he just he's a down. real journalist. Alistair, Bo- Alistair Bostwick is a real journalist. Okay. And he went and looked at all the stuff, like with Mia Farrow and like, you know, what really happened. Three, of her, three of her 11 children. Uh, three of her ten adopted children committed suicide. Um, there was there was apparently, and he has the court trial transcripts. They offered Willie Allen eight eight if he gave them eight million dollars. Um, you know, he, to shut to to they would shut up. They wouldn't make it a scene. And yeah. Willie Allen was like, "No, I'm taking a lie detector test." And she wouldn't take a lie. Let watch the video. But anyway, I did an interview with him. I'm going to release it tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to release it on, but yeah. Yeah, I, I said. I want to forget yeah. what you're gonna release. But it on? I said, I yeah, because I do want to watch it. Oh, it's I, great. I am curious. I'll, I'll release it on YouTube. I'll just okay. release it on my Perfect. channel. On I'll Brian release Cowan. it ever. Yeah, and I'll, I'll put, post it on. So I just search Brian Cowan. Yeah, and I'll, I'll post okay. it on my Instagram. I got you. I know where to find. <laughs> so he's a he's a he's a lib- he worked for liberal corporation. He worked for um he worked for uh, BuzzFeed. He worked yeah. for Huffington Post. Now he works for Verizon. Okay. And he's Verizon. essentially a freelance guy, but he's really he just tries to just he's a fucking thorough journalist. And I said. If I were to say to you, um, uh, if, if you were to say, look, you went to, you were at the Huffington Post, very, very liberal and very anti-Trump, right? And if you were to say, let, let me find one good thing about Trump. Like, let me find one good thing that might have been good for the economy. Let's mm-hmm. say his deregulation policy. And he said, it would get greenlit. However, however, would it be promoted? Would it be on the front page? No. Right? And then what would but happen to me when I come yeah. back to work the next day and the week after. Mm. Are you going to want to come to work every day and have people cutting their eyes at you all the time like that? Yeah. And at, then they start talking about you on the chat boards mm. like they did to uh, Barry, what's her name, Barry Weiss in the New York Times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Super liberal. But she was like, this is getting crazy, guys. This is an ideology and we're not even reporting the news objectively. <gasps> they started talking about it on the chat board. It got so hostile for her that she had so, to so, 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 so what did he do? Well, he said, "What happens in those so situations? What rise. happens is you mm-hmm. go over to you over to you go over to Breitbart or the Daily Wire because you can't. You don't know. You know yeah, yeah. So you so we get so journalists get pushed mm-hmm. in one team or another. Mm-hmm. You just you can't help but get pushed in one direction or another. Otherwise, you're a pariah at your own work. That's a problem. So I, I, anyway, it's, it was a good interview because he's he's somebody I respect. And he's yeah. a young guy. And yeah, we found him because of the Chris stuff, right? Yeah. You and I were saying that to each other. Yeah." I'm and like for sure. Send this. Watch to Chris. the Woody Allen thing he did. Fuck. Yeah, I was I'll watch like, it. So, oh, but yeah, shit. but that's what makes it tough. Cause like, yeah, like I mean, it, yeah. I never watch the fucking news based off of, like, just like you said, like Fox is over here. You know, it's seen. It, it's just, I don't know. It's just such a wild world. World, and then like to pick a side. You know, I don't know. It's just, it's just the, too. 
Which side is Brian Williams on? The eleventh hour. Which side? Would Brian that Williams be? is pretty. He's just pretty vanilla. In a, yeah. yeah. He yeah. makes he, a lot of money because he's not threatening. Not threatening. Yeah. <clears throat> but you, would you have to take a side to far left or far right? Uh, it's like Brian. It's a, he's just because that's why. No, he, for me. Or, or like, no, I'm just saying. Like for it, Brian Williams. Yeah. Out of all the guys. I, I, yeah. Oh, so don't he's, listen. He's to vanilla him. ice cream. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I mean, I think also that, to keep in mind, like you know, it's like, are you left? Are you right? Or give me the give me the issue. Give yeah. me the topic. Immigration. Yeah, I don't know. It's really complicated. I don't want to see kids in cages. I know that. I, we all agree with that. Yeah. But at the same time, I don't think we should have every. I think borders are reasonable and they mean something. Mm -hmm. If they don't, then then take the front door off your house. You got to have some regulation. I mean, so so how do we do it? It's not easy when yeah. Latin America is a disaster. When you got Guatemala, El Salvador, and you got desperate people Big coming, problems. and you're you're a border agent, and you're dealing with children who've been in the desert and they're dehydrated or maybe dying, and you're dealing with all this shit, and you're cat finding people who are dead in the that, that shit's. All you're doing is, you're not even political at that point. You're just trying to make the world a better place. You're just trying yeah. to deal with all the shit. And so you're, you're part of an organization called ICE. People are saying, you're bad. Well, bro, I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm trying, I have a job to do. I'm trying to, you know, it's really the incentive structure that causes but, people to either behave. But also them. with the, with like immigration stuff, like the, the rules are almost for the, the exception. So it's like when we were in Syria, when all those Syrians left and Germany was like, yeah, we'll take them. It's tough because you're going to get those those outliers, those guys who yeah. are still involved in ISIS. It can't just be that easy, is what or you're France saying. France goes, we'll take them, and then they have all these issues. Yeah, but again, those mm -hmm. guys are the exception. Majority of the people that come over, they're going to contribute to society yep. and be good people. Yeah, but the, the that exception will scare everybody and Everyone. keep them out. Well, you get like young men. It's like it's, 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 it's like it's like you know like real Italians fucking hate the Godfather. Good fellas, yeah. Because it paints all like you meet. You think of Italian yeah. mafia. Yeah. You're like, dude, That's how my grandparents. Point oh one percent of really? Italians yeah. are in the mafia. They fucking hate it, dude. So same with like Muslims. Like, oh, ISIS. Are you kidding me, dude? Mm -hmm. You know how many Muslims are in the world? You know how many are in ISIS? Point oh 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 one. But they, they get labeled the, as, yeah, as, they, as yeah. that. So they, they get fight. portrayed. I think ten percent of our medical uh, doctors and staff are, are Muslim Italian? in this country. Oh. You know, if you're Iranian. Or you're, you know, from that, you know, you come here or whatever, and you're Muslim. You go to school. You, your parents are like, oh, you're, you're going to be a doctor, or mm -hmm. you got a couple of choices. You yeah, know? yeah. You got to get six degrees. Yeah, it's, it's the same thing. You know, how, you, how many? You're Italian, Irish. What's right? that? You're Italian and Irish. Irish, Italian and Irish. That's why I have. That's why I fucking. But that's you grew up all over the world, right? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. I grew up, that's like where pee, I let me pee real quick. Let me take a break. Gonna pee out of your. your you got to pee. So medium dick. So I got to move my big ass. Yeah, man. Brian, you got fucking abs. Chip pulled up pictures of you. Yeah. You've always like, yeah, yeah. damn. Yeah, I'm, I'm building. Yeah, I'm a gazelle. Nuts. No, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's also been built the same way for. The Halloween? But, but, uh, listen, look at that. That's an ectomorph, right? Dude, how <laughs> funny was that, man? I know, I took my shit Also, off. dude, how about how about the post Delia? <laughs> look at Delia. Hey, how about the post Delia sent us? <laughs> 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 that, that was at the comedy store. I'm, I'm trying to do a video. It looks like the Laugh Factory. Laugh Factory. Oh, Laugh Factory, yeah. Yeah, you don't remember that. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> at the time, he was about to make a story. <laughs> that 10-minute podcast picture is fucking... You took your shirt off? LB, yeah. you know... Oh, how, you, I was watching. Always been checked, dog. I was watching the other day on uh, YouTube when Sasso came on Fire and the Kid. It was redoing Montel Jordan. It was oh, so yeah. fucking this funny. He's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> he's just he's one of the funniest. We he's should, like, have you talked to him? Yeah, I talk to him periodically, but he's all Heidi Heidi because of Kobe Kobe. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, big guy, big guy, big guy. Big guy. Big guy. So yeah. I think he's a little he's worried. worried about it. All but, big uh, guys are. Yeah, like but but all my um, big friends are like oh. he won't hang with me because I travel. You know, and he's like, "Now nah, you're on the road." I'm oh, so we're not getting him on the show for quite some time. <clears throat> yeah. He's got to get vaccinated. Uh, but he's uh, he's me a while like, for him. He's, some people are so funny naturally, like they're just so impossibly talented. I mean, we'll mm -hmm. I've said that nothing. to him before. I go, "I think you're the greatest impressionist I've ever I've ever seen in my life." And how how did his show do? I don't see it. It got canceled. Yeah. Oh, oh the one on a NBC. Well, if you want to play that game, if you want to be on mm -hmm. mainstream TV, yeah, you pilots get yeah don't get picked up. Or how about I think Kevin James taking all of his jobs, you know? Well, Kevin James is something else, but even that, even that's he's hard. Yeah. Well, he's on Netflix now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I mean, how many people are watching? It's it's always I don't know. TV has just changed so much. This whole business has changed drastically. Yeah. And if you're going to put all your eggs in a Netflix show, now hold on. So so new media, podcasting, stand up, <clears throat> we're all very lucky because if you're doing a Netflix show, you're going to do eight episodes. 
10 episodes. And a lot of times that contract keeps you from doing you anything else. You can't do else. anything else. Mm-hmm. So that so you shot so how long does it take to do 10 episodes? I'm going to I'll give it I'll give it 3 months. I'll give it yeah, maybe. Okay, well, I'll give it three, 3 months. So yeah. now you got now you got 9 more months to yeah. right? You to, figure to, it out. What are you going to do? You can have a podcast or stand and up. You can't pay your mortgage on that. I'm not paying you that much. Kevin I'm James saying in LA. If yeah. you're Kevin in LA, James can. Yeah, yeah, if you're Kevin James, yeah. But if you're just Different. a person on there, no. If you're if you're fourth lead, yeah, supporting. Yeah, yeah. you need something yeah. more. By the way, speaking of acting, yeah, you saw. Oh, you saw it. You saw that. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, you saw that? yeah. What's Mal- that? Mal- it was good. Mal- Mal- took my work. I liked it. What was it? Yeah. His, uh, His Xbox, Xbox commercial. commercial. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, so was it a commercial for Xbox or Otterbox? Because I saw both. Well, here's the thing. Uh, it was a collab. Oh, okay. But but it was more Xbox. I have three more to go. Is it on TV? Uh, yeah, posted it, well, it on ta- a fan tagged me. Uh, I reposted it. But oh, is, yeah. is it on YouTube or no? It's on YouTube. Well, we put it on YouTube. Oh, it's it on YouTube or you, have you posted to your social media? Yeah, yeah. I'm getting a lot of positive reviews. Uh, we have. Uh, I'm shooting another one in March. Look at that right there. Now we can critique. Going. Uh, it's now, I was, actually I was, really good. I was much smaller back then. Look at that posture. I like it. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> look at the walk. Look at that. Look. Yeah. The focus. Now, do you have any speaking lines? Or? Well, okay, we'll get to that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at that. Look at that handle. Ah. Okay. This is the girl I was telling you about. How can we get you to stare at your phone more? <laughs> <laughs> you can play Xbox on your video on your phone now. That's Nightmare. so dope. Oh damn! Calm That's down, Melvin. Really. Yeah. Now here, this is my line. Where okay, I where do you talk? <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah, where, where's your lines at? Hold yeah. On. Look what, okay. Brian, look what Brian commented. <laughs> Brian, is, <laughs> Brian is such an asshole. I'm glad you took my acting workshop. I take credit for this commercial. Now, why? Well, because. <laughs> because because uh, what? I just feel like. I, I, did like I, I'm sorry. Brian did I talk this? when he spoke? Did I miss the. <laughs> what were your lines? My line was game connected. I, but, uh, did I. Was that in there? <laughs> it was, it was think about the, Hollywood. Think about Hollywood. It's not about the lines. It's about the intention. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank sure. you, B. You saw sure. you saw my face. You saw sure. the folks. Now, three now more. I don't want to say anybody could do that, but no, 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 we'll have three more. They chose good. me. You smile. You smile. I have a great smile. I believed you. I believed I you. you. No, they chose you for sure. I mean, you're chosen one. I had an acting teacher. I was doing a scene one time in acting class in front of a bunch of people I didn't know. And I'm, and I'm doing this heavy, trying to fucking, and I just hear the teacher go, I don't believe you. <laughs> 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 I believe you. I believe you on the third drag. Have you ever taken yeah. uh, acting classes? Yeah, I did for like three years. How'd it go? I liked it. I I, I think acting classes are dope. I hated mine. You hated it? Yeah. Hated you didn't mine. like him, Mr. Pettigrew. He was so hard on me. Once you just go somewhere else, there's thousands of. Yeah, them. Well, because he said if you quit now, you're gonna quit in life, and that stuck with me. Yeah, but yeah. you could just go to another acting yeah. coach. You're, you're, not not necessarily, you're not necessarily. Well, just leave it. He well, just wasn't. Teacher teacher's supposed to be hard on you sometimes. Yeah, he was. Because yeah. you, you get caught in your little tricks. He taught me how to cry on the uh, on the on the spot. That's the guy who like he was like, I want to see better. <clears throat> but the other thing, if you're an acting coach, think how much bullshit riffraff you deal with in your class. Oh, nobody. Oh, so mean, much. Yeah. Most people aren't gonna make it. This girl's from Nebraska. She's homecoming queen. Mm-hmm. Thinks she's gonna be the next yeah. fucking you know big thing. But they try well, to the get acting, you cl- the acting teachers that never made it though. Yeah. If you really look at yeah, it, yeah. If you so, really so, if you really so, think so, about yeah. it. So, but there are some great teachers who those who can't coach. Work. Yeah. yeah, some of them are amazing though. Like some a lot of times they're trying strong. to get you out of your own way. What do you know, Jeffrey? Tam- oh fuck! He best. he had an act- acting Tambor? coach who's like Emmy award winning. He was oh a, Jeffrey Tambor was, yeah, was your acting, acting coach? Teacher. Yeah. yeah, for years. Oh wow! Can you can you get him with me? One of the greatest. He's one of the greatest. He, I don't think he does. His it. acting he is he's one of the great actors. I mean, ever I put him up against anybody. He's amazing. And he was one of the greatest teachers. That motherfucker was psychic. That dude would look back and go like this. He would go, he'd go, what's going on? And you'd be like, huh? And he goes, you want the good news? You want the bad news? And the person, oh, 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 good news first. He goes, good. Good news is you got one foot out, in, one foot in. Bad news is you got one foot out, right? What happened? Think about quitting now. Bad! People start crying. <laughs> oh. How about this? How about this? My Yo. favorite. My favorite is this. Guy's doing scene. And he goes, after the scene, we'd all be waiting to see what he's going to say. And he'd go, What's going on with your right leg? Guy go what? And he goes your right leg. What's going on? You so you're so protected of that leg, and that's I just see you kind of your whole body leaning in that direction. Guy goes nothing. I don't know. I, <laughs> and he goes nothing. Nothing's going on with your right leg. Guy goes I mean he goes you don't see that? Walk for a sec. Walk. I'd be like. And he goes yeah see. 
And he goes, I, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, 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 he goes, nothing ever happened. He goes, I mean, I, I was in a car accident and I broke my femur in half. Yeah, so I had What? Never, the motherfucker could pick up on that kind of stuff. Beast. It, just a, just Are a you student. That's and like his hell. antenna, a, a student of human behavior. Yeah. And then he would sometimes show you how to do something. And and like like you'd do a scene and you'd work on it. and Or the, my favorite of this, he'd go, yeah, watch this. He'd go, how long did you work on the scene? Mm -hmm. So tell me like, tell me, tell me 12 hours. How 12 long? hours? 12 hours. Three hours. Maybe. And I'm being generous. So what's going on? You don't want to. You don't want to do this. Yeah, they've seen it all, man. Goes, yeah. You can leave. You've seen it all. Yeah, yeah, but he's still not. He's still not doing it. Is he? Be? No, he stopped teaching in two thousand two. Yeah, yeah he he's just blown up. He's yeah. I think what's funny. I was talking to Chappelle about this. Is agents trying to adapt to you know now there's podcasts and stand up. Yeah. YouTube. You can. There's all these different digital avenues, avenues. go, mm -hmm. and they're trying to keep up. And then they throw you TV ideas, and you're like, L let's go through this. If I get that TV show. So I'm shooting, you say Monday through Friday. Well, you know I have a podcast Monday through Thursdays. The only day, well, now, it's, now I do. The, I have no, every day I podcast. So if you, if, I, if you have to take that away, yeah. then how much is the compensation? Yeah, but, and I go, well, just think about the long play. I own these podcasts. So you want me to do this TV show and shut down all this for, for how long? And you'll work for 16 hours a day, please. Yeah. yeah. And mo what I mean by that is you'll be in makeup waiting. But it's, it's, funny, to it's, watch, all, it's, it's funny to watch them juggle. Yeah. What do you mean, the agents? Yeah, just because yeah. they—it's just I'm like, how much pay? You know, I make that in a day doing this. Like, yeah, I know, but that's podcast. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. So is that less than yeah. this TV network? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're getting if, you, if, if you want fame, people. If you want fame, have a successful podcast. It's gonna people are gonna know you a lot more. Than well, oh, well, hundred percent. But also think about it, like when's the like how much do you know about Leonardo DiCaprio? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know anything. About you about ever heard him on long form podcast? How much you know about Joe Rogan or Brian Callen or yeah. Tim yeah. Dillon or yeah. Chris D'Elia? Oh, look like, at Andrew Schultz. You know, was Andrew Schultz doing a shitload of TV before this? No, he made no. himself. No, he was. He was on TV. No, but, I mean, well, I mean, he oh, also, but he people know him from 100 from, the, from know, his just being uh, so amazing on social media and yeah. being like we but, got but to the, know but that, him. And that's adapting that. in 2021. These celebrities now who are untouchable and there's there's a few at the pinnacle, but outside that, no one gives a fuck about the rest of them. Yeah, there's like this elite like. Ten of name them. name the last in the past three years and I'll wait. This who, is a trivia. Who, who yeah, who okay. who were the uh give me a couple names of, of actual Oscar winners. It used to be they were household names. Who won an Oscar last well, year? Just well, just Brad Pitt. Well that's just just for uh, supporting. Yeah. That Brad Pitt we know because we've known him. What's Brad? Yeah, it's Brad Pitt. He, he's, he's, but, he's, yeah, but we don't. Actors are no longer what they were because <coughs> it's so atomized. Yeah, there's just there's people. It's, you got you're competing with YouTube podcasts. Stand up, so many, everything. So, mm -hmm. so an actor no longer can capture, you know, the imagine, the collective imagination. How many people have seen the movie? How many see? Moonlight won an Oscar. Okay, mm -hmm. never as seen a movie. It. Name one actor from it. Uh, Trevante uh, yeah. Rose. I was in a film with him. Okay. Marshae Ali. Um, the, the, well, it's an all black cast. Yes, and black guys. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why are you pointing? At that? <laughs> well, most people don't. Most people are like, well, yeah. Most people don't. Yeah, yeah but, but think about it. Most yeah, most people would not know that. No, yeah, not at all. It's, it's yeah. just it's just what it's just that the, the narrative's changed. The media's changed. But know? meanwhile, I I do love the world of acting. I think it's such an, an amazing dope. like yeah. thing. Like just to see someone portray something and like one and of my favorite right. actors. Great. Is yeah, one of my favorite actors is Val Kilmer. I love Val Kilmer. You know, I think yeah. he's fucking great. He's great. And uh, you know, just to watch him like portray something like and, and you no longer see. Val Kilmer, I think I don't know. I just think it's badass. Right now, he's that. your favorite actor, huh? Well, he right now, one of one of my oh, favorites. Right. Yeah. He hasn't worked in a long yeah. time. Has no, he hasn't. He has, put on uh, a lot of weight. He had the throat, throat issue. Throat yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no, he well, was great in the nineties. Heat, though. yeah. Heat was that was. Uh, heat. Oh, he's my favorite movie. Heat's Al Pacino, an movie. yeah. And fucking yeah. De Niro. Oh my god, you remember that scene when they sit down together? He was like, oh my god. Yep. You know. Oh, when they first like, yeah. That. Do you know that scene? Nineteen ninety-two. Was that was ninety two. Uh, he's probably ninety six. Yeah, ninety seven. Yeah, really? Little, yeah, I think he's a little. Ninety five. Ninety five. Ninety five. Yeah. Wow. What Still a great holds movie. up. Sure does. We had to do a monologue. Uh, great movie. In that scene, yeah. You had to do that. You had to do that. Scene? Yeah, sit that. Yeah, in the monologue. They initially sit down together. That's so that intense. shooting scene that or that. Yes, yeah, so celebrities all different now, isn't it? Because you got like yeah. well, I was at Zoo Gym. Uh, the owner introduced me to this TikToker. I didn't think much of it, and then. Uh, he just popped up on my YouTube feed, and he has like I don't know, like a hundred million followers on TikTok. What? Yeah. Do you know his name? No, no clue. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One hundred million. It's it's like so a, those crazy. TikTokers he's, are the modern he's, superstars now. He's so rich. TikTok TikTokers? Yeah, TikTokers. Yes. Yeah, my, my, they're listen, like the talk new to my generation. Daughter. 
Yeah. She's 12. And she's just like. Everyone's obsessed. Oh, niece. Yeah. yeah. But it's all niche, right? Like that guy. Not even really that. that big of a niche. These kids have like 30 million followers on Instagram. It's still niche though. Because that kid could get coffee and no one knows who he is. Like Leonardo Correct. DiCaprio can't. Mm -hmm. The age of the big star is not there. Yeah. Also, 100 also, million how followers. How long does it last? How long does it last? How that, much that's my how thing. Much, how much talent do they actually really have? And 100 million followers on Instagram doesn't mean that 100 million people in the it world. It can equate, know. yeah. yeah. To, like, yeah. Again, oh, to, that, the, yeah. to the point that social media isn't real. Yeah. They say one in 10 people are on social media when you walk down the street. So if that kid gets coffee, they don't know who he is. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. I, but I also, you, also, you're. You did it in thirty second bursts. There's, it's a little bit different of a skill set, I think. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not that they're not talented. It's just you got to sustain. Think it's it's just a different, different skill, skill, different kind of skill yeah. If your audience is twelve year olds too, TikTok is a young audience. That, young. That's mm -hmm. very fickle. They'll just go on to the next thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Let's go to some current events. What do you got, Jen? First one. Okay, so this is an update to a story that we did a few days ago about a potential Meek Mill lyric talking about going out on a chopper and he refers to Kobe Bryant. Uh, yeah. Vanessa Bryant actually saw this and she reacted. Uh, yeah, she, she asks people don't post like tributes to Kobe either. I yeah, she doesn't like it's, it's having to her, see her her tributes of her yeah. daughter and Which her husband. Which is kind of weird to husband. say, you know. Yeah. It's just triggering for her, so she'd rather it. not. Stay off it. social media though, you know. Yeah. You can I'm, also, sure she, I'm sure she does, you but You can also just things. stay off of it. You mm -hmm. know, like your your husband was a a legend, and so mm -hmm. many people respect them yeah. and pay tribute to him. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there are ways where like she can't avoid certain things. Though. I'm sure there are people like in her ear showing her like, "Hey, did you see what Meek Mill did?" Even if she's trying to stay off social media, yeah, you, you could like word gets yeah, around. Yeah, you could stay off of it though. Yeah. You yeah. know, to demand that society doesn't post tributes is a little that's crazy, a little insane. But, but also yeah, with yeah, with Meek Mill to defend chopper. Meek Mill, you know, the Meek Mill didn't release this song. No. He, he wasn't going to release it, and it got leaked. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Him because he was with Lil Baby. Yeah. yeah. Lil so baby. it got leaked. So this was never supposed to be out. Yeah. yeah What's but, your favorite Meek Mill song? That's probably that one. And that's. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, don't. I hate that line though, because I had it yeah. bleeped out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you yeah, okay. had that line bleeped yeah. out. Yeah. But yeah, apparently, he had a conversation with uh, My rap has to be uh, Vanessa Bryant behind the scenes. Mm. Wait, wait. Text. <laughs> wait, hold on. Sorry. You said what? <laughs> My my rap has to be tactful and respectful. <laughs> Exactly. Who's your favorite rapper? That is rap Smith. my favorite la rapper. Yeah. <laughs> Put us on game, Brian. Macklemore is fucking white. <laughs> uh, I mean, not that I noticed, but I've heard. Hey, I've remember, heard. hey remember when you sent me that white rapper video? I went, two things. <laughs> two things. <laughs> Don't ever send me a white rapper in a video ever again. Well, I watched the Travis Scott doc, yeah. 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 and I kept wanting to see what made him great. Like, cause I, I like to, so his I, come I, up story is great. Yeah, yeah, but what I was looking at, like with Kanye, I went and listened to other musicians explain to me why he's original, yes. right? I don't know music. Jeff okay. Scott. So what, what I like you to do is, I want you to show me how to like compare. What I noticed about the con the concerts Travis Scott, it was very interesting because it was like a throw. It was a combination of rap and also rock. the mosh pits yeah. of yeah. the yep. fucking 90s with that hardcore yes. rock shit. Yeah. So I was like, oh, this is this is very interesting because he's bringing black and white kids together and they're fucking fanatical right. and it's an event mm -hmm. he's just like a spearhead of, how, of a how, how, how great is in how great it how great is in that documentary when he goes he's not big he goes to astro world yeah I know. and there's like 10 it's people it. in the crowd mm -hmm. and then he goes back a year later and it's like it's yes. sold out what, so what what one is of the it best about live him? performers he's just, he's just he, he, is it personality just, or is it talent no it's both no he's I, both yeah. he's super both. talented like yeah. he changed the game as far as rap goes like his, his, his sound his yeah, sound his is, is just different. Different. it's super unique huh. and then his fashion they yep. collab with jordan and nike, nike and mcdonald's mcdonald's like he's huge huge yeah, yeah he's huge playstation so, so that, i always talented say, dude i always say that success like that is not an accident no you're not you're not fucking successful like that you you're they when you meet people like that, they're smart as shit. You get confused by the style, by by the packaging sometimes, mm -hmm. you know? Like he's where oh, you know, whatever, he's he seems like he's smoking a lot of weed and he's kind of just hanging out. No, no, no. He's always, he's probably always thinking. He's always no, yeah, he yeah, probably got he's, he's, way, he's, he's way original. Yeah. 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 I don't know if he got straight A's. No, but Let's you, calm down a little bit. You'd be but surprised I, by that. Yeah, though. I didn't like, get straight A's. Lil but, Wayne did. Well, he was a nerd. Lil Wayne had a nerd. Like, yeah. Yeah, but I'm sure. Yeah, he was. He was yeah, a nerd. Yeah. He was a nerd. Yeah. Also, one of the best yeah. concerts. 
I bet he was. Though. I bet he. Let's go to a con- let's go to his concert. He's touring again in 2023. <laughs> oh, dude, I'll mosh the fuck. He's out waiting in 2022. You mosh? Watch out for the gray mule. Gay, gay. Ooh, ooh. I'm not built like you guys. You yeah, yo, mosh. yo, oh, mosh pack it in. Pack it. It's the gray mule. <laughs> Straight mule. up. Ee-haw, ee-haw, ee-haw. Mule's, mule, that's a donkey, but fuck yeah, it. Yeah, whatever yeah. a mule. I'm a dyslexic. I'm mule. Sure. And yeah. think about it. lights go down. They go get ready to pack it in, and then lights go dark in here. Ah. Goes, ah. Shout out to the fucking shout out to the man dragon slash weather nope. worm slash Don't gray drop mule. the man dragon and you're saying no, that it's not you're catching now nah, it's not now nah, not a man dragon and, and then I just fucking come running out abs from oh, zero abs. dark dirty abs for days abs for days I got a shirt like this one of those half shirts oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Dick like the mid drift like, like the mid yeah. drift yeah. yeah. running and shagoosh uh-huh. shagoosh dick oh, like flopping dick from the dick hip flopping. Dick from dick the hip dick flopping where did your dick come yeah, from I'm not wearing dick pants in. You're Keep not wearing pants. Kid. When did you know? Oops. No, we want him to go viral. We want him to go viral. We want him to go viral. What'd you say? What'd you say? I go, they like, bro. It's promotion for the movie. When you're running, you're sprinting, it's hitting. It's flat. I go, this little old thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Yeah. And then that's the crime. I'm into that's it. The, you're into it? Yeah. <laughs> and then he's behind me for no reason. Yeah. Running behind me, holding onto my hips, going, mm-hmm. yeah. And you push me into the mosh. No, that, then when you fall and your big dick goes flapping everywhere, then I grab you by your heel, just your socks, and pull you back. Mm-hmm. And your dick's going, hey. Oh, oh so my. I get, I get, I, I'm, like, I'm the fucking dirty clown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're on the concert stage. I'm pulling. It's going, Err. Yeah, but I'm going to get a, I'm going to get some kind of an infection. Like, I'm going to get an infection on my dick. Ugh. Sick. Ugh. What else you got, Kat? <laughs> That's a dope concert. Okay, so there is a brand new uh, Pakistani armed police t- police unit that is going to get trained in skating around trying to prevent theft and street harassment. I feel like it'd be easy to knock those guys down. <laughs> <laughs> but this is footage of their training. See ya, dude. Nice skates. This, yeah. this is awesome. But just get on horses, though, you know? Oh, wow. No. <laughs> They can't eat. They're not even great. Jokes. They're all scared. Yeah. They're, all <laughs> they're all tense. Now, a lot of Pakistani. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Whoa. Nothing looks softer than cops on skates. <laughs> yeah. How do you? Yeah. How do you? That looks super unsteady. And you're not going to be able to shoot straight. I mean, the only thing. No, that, there's no way. Yeah. The I, only thing that would make this more gay if they had cut off jean shorts on. They're not going they fast look like at Reno, all. Uh, they're not going yeah. fast at all. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're getting information yeah. this is a terrible idea <laughs> that is okay hold on and they're not great at skating no, they're either fucking bad. they're not good at skating you know easy to be to get away from them and then you what are what? they gonna do once they catch a in guy about a yeah. year, in about a year they're gonna start getting real good though yeah they're training right now i get it yeah oh, watch jump. his jump. What happens watch. Jump. Oh. jump jump <laughs> oh <laughs> I'm down for hey, it. I got, I got to give him that. Yeah, I'm down he for it. He jumped over that motorcycle, dog. <laughs> can well, I, I'll give him not that. Not smooth, though. He was all scared. He had to go to the side. He's all... Can any one of y'all skate? Anyone up? I can, I can roll skate? Uh, You can roll a blade? Skate? Can, yeah, yeah. What about you? Can you? Yeah, come on. I can blade, bro. You can, what, you can blade? You can, you can blade? That's why you say it like yeah, that, Why do you say blade? I ride that line of balance. Just oh, put it that way. Ooh, that you can shred. You can shred. Do you go to Atlanta and go to Cascade? Do you do that? Watch out. Fucking Pakistan coming coming through. You don't see a lot of skates on Venice Beach anymore. Sure don't. No, it's not very it, rare. Nah, they it's popping. It's very it's, gay. It's also very interesting that it's very that, gay. That roller plays just they went away. Skateboarding never went they? away. Bro, you don't see rollerblades. I, I was just in Santa Monica. There's, was, some, there's some rollerblades rollerblade yeah. at like the park. Yeah, but there, there might be like, one or two, but it's not popping like it used to be. Like no, in the, yeah, in the late right. 90s, right. that thing was This popping. is mean to say, but when you see a rollerblade, a lot of times you're like, like I'm always like, you, I think you live in your car. <laughs> but not to be, but I mean, I think you live in your car. it's just right, not they're, hip they're, anymore. They're alone and they're 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 dancing to music. And to the, you know those the people, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they always have great bodies, and they're not and always they're great dancing. Bodies, and you're like, oh, something's wrong. Something happened. Yeah, here. they're usually thin. Uh, you know what I see a lot of yeah. is uh, the roller skates. That's what I, I, I see a lot see of. A lot of no, it, I don't see a lot of roller skates. I see a lot of. I mean, I don't, I don't see that. You see that? Where you guys hanging out? And then in Santa Monica, I just went past. Are you hanging outside the Abbey? No, no. There's not a lot of rollerblading going on. They call it inline skating, right? That's what the skate parks. But They're on rollerblades. Yeah, rollerblades and yes. roller skates. But, I see it all the time. But, 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 but more skate. Why they went out of fashion? There's a reason. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Inline skates went out of fashion, but there was a reason. There was something like they just stopped. People stopped rollerblading. The death. Yeah. It's a lot of deaths, I guess. Why did inline skating die out, but skateboarding BMX and still popping? Ooh, yeah. The death meal. Yeah. And trick oriented. Oh, it's a Reddit article though. 
Mm. Uh, what was that sport when women used to rollerblade and they had to the, roller uh, derby? Roller oh derby. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mainly, that was intense. Yeah, oh. mainly a lesbian sport. Let's call it. What <laughs> oh, they were. The Is it like another form of well softball? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 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 what? We're talking about roller derby. Like goes, roller derby. Mainly a lesbian sport. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm you get saying. big Karen out there with, with the big Karen out there. <laughs> With and the then whistles, they're, they're, then they're they're always like in the pre preview. They're always like, oh uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's the protector. Dude, they're all built big. like us. No, yes. they're bigger than me. They're, 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 they're us on skates. Yeah, that's, like, there's a, always that's the like a fast fetish one for a guy who likes muscular girls. You, you like what else you got? <laughs> yeah, I, you would get down with a roller you, derby girl. I, I, I appreciate, can we pull up a roller derby video? I appreciate <laughs> muscles and tattoos on a woman. I do. What? 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 Let's and, do this and, real quick. And a big dick. <laughs> okay, so uh, the city of Winnipeg is currently snowing, and they're having an issue with people creating sexually suggestive snowmen throughout the city awesome. to the point where they have city officials. Oh! <laughs> they have city officials going by like local parks and areas and knocking them down. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, they they, wow. they got, Hey, that thing curvy. Yeah, <laughs> Damn, have you, have you been to look Winnipeg? at that booty. Been to Winnipeg? Never. I did stand in Winnipeg. There's not a lot to do in Winnipeg. Uh -huh. So in the winter time, come on. That thing. That's fantastic. Woo! Did you see? The I wonder what that was. Did you Did you see the TikTok thing up. that went viral where uh, there was a TikTok narrative that uh, the government created the snow? Oh yeah, that's the next government in, in Texas. Wait, what? And they think oh it's yeah, fake they snow? think yeah, they think it's, it's fake snow. There, there's that. a lot of videos of people trying to burn the snow and it doesn't melt. It doesn't. Yeah, for whatever reason. There the are a few videos. Show. One is that they say it'll the snow will turn black, oh, which shouldn't happen because it's supposed to be water hey, and hey. melt. Yeah, I know mm -hmm. these fucking TikTok. People. Listen to me. I was there. I was there for the three days it was. It started snowing. Yeah, I was there. It no, was everywhere, no, and it was this thing. No, they say it's no. They they think it's snow, but they think it's a, like a f artificial snow, snow fake mm, snow. Yeah. Basically, they think the government put it there. Well, okay, yeah, because it's man-made because it was coming down from I, everywhere in the sky. Yeah, this is a video right here. Yeah, like a so watch. Someone okay. said do it with a blow dryer. Plug in, on. Go get snow. Go find some snow. Okay, not a snowball. Here we go. Highest setting hot. Not melt. It won't melt. What the? No drip. Which is weird, drip. but yeah, he is a bit weird. You have the That's one where crazy. the person set it on fire, Kat? Oh yeah, there's huh? one that put it you in the a microwave. The person that sets it on fire oh, it still more. doesn't melt. I don't know if it's in this article. Yeah, that's it right there. Covered yep. in snow. Covered in snow. I don't know why I put this dope track on it, but... <laughs> oh, no, this is, a, this is a TikTok track. It's one of those that oh. goes viral, yeah. See, it won't melt. It just turns black. Yeah. I was... I was, I was there. It's snow. It's snow. Like it's, snow. Weird. it's weird, though. It huh? is, yeah, it is weird. I, oh, yeah. what's that one right there? Look at this government snow right here. It falls off your hand. Don't even make it wet. That is I like weird. how they keep calling it that government is, That snow. is. That I was weird. It is strange. Yeah. yeah. I love it. What's this? Thank you, Bill Gates. Oh, this is the light one. Thank you, Bill Gates. You fucking trick us that this is real snow. Trying to trick us. You'll see. That's so it's Texan. It's melting. The hell? And it's going to burn. <laughs> snow don't burn. Snow fucking melts. No water, no dripping, no nothing. That's crazy. If I put this shit in the microwave, it's going to start sparking. Because there's metal. Oh yeah, in it. prove it. So they put it in a microwave. They did. No melting. That's what they're saying. It is weird. It doesn't melt, right, B? Yeah, I guess it's weird. B, what do you think? Yeah, I, I don't like, know what you think, B. I want to see what I, I Sam has to say. Yeah, snowed in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I was there, yeah. and it was everywhere. I was sliding around in my car. So, oh, if they have a plane that big and they were able to cover all of Texas and kill all those animals, uh, okay. But it was f -f freezing. Yeah. It was. I, no, I, be, I believe you, but that those videos are kind of crazy. Yeah, the They're TikTok weird. videos, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, it's so nuts. That's the one I saw. That's Which Ohio, was, though. Oh, that's Ohio. Never mind. Oh, uh, they're saying it's fake too. It all can't be fake. So you want to watch no. it though? Or, oh, no, I don't minutes. need to watch it. I don't need to watch it. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, weird. The government. Uh, Bill Gates, I guess, is the one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she's like, thank you, Bill Gates. When you start blaming, if she's you start giving nice the government try, that Bill much Gates. credit, yeah. if you think the government can create a snowstorm like that, it's just incredible. It is strange. Okay. But that's why we have conspiracy theories. Yeah. Yeah, man, yeah. that's the topic. Yeah. Yeah. What else you got, Jen? Um, this one right here. 
Andrew Schultz. I had to uh, screen record it. Cat caught this on uh, Andrew Schultz's Instagram, but uh, he called out Brian. First, he said, hey, the boys are back, which is cool. Swim, you're lying. You know what? You're one of them. You know what? It's about you lying. No, no, no. somebody got the phone. I think I'm lying. I'm lying. And then, here. He says he's coming for you, Brian. They're coming with more speed, Mr. This. Schultz. I saw that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He needs, I told him, and I said to him, I said, I need more reach from you. You're fighting like Frazier. And I stop doing being inside fighter. Let, let me see Schultz on the, on the wave there. Using your reach. I got a video of Oh, he Brian, kills it right uh, here. Brian yeah. hitting pads. Y'all want to see it? You do? Schultz kills it right here. Yeah, he Look surfs. Oh, this oh. is dope. You're a badass. Let's see my video. Any well, of y'all watch the How Patrice doc? I, right I didn't watch it. It's great. Is that on Comedy I'm not Central? Finished. Get, yeah. Uh, Bill Burr uh, produced it. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I great. Had, I had a conversation with that guy, with me and Dove David. Patrice? Patrice, yeah. Patrice, yeah. And Legend. He's got, he had some profound thoughts. I mean, I remember just Smart guy. I looked at I looked at Dove and I go, it's kind of profound. And Dove goes, the man drops a heavy, a heavy thought. He drops a heavy thought. <laughs> how's, Dove, how's Dove doing? The best. But, you know, he's just a real estate tycoon. He is? You know, he's doing stand-up, but yeah. Dove David off. I miss him, man. I mean, I don't, he's yeah. got a kid now. So oh. he spends his time with his child. Oh. We'll sketch in. You guys already know about Tiger Woods? Yeah. Tiger, Tiger Woods. Yeah. I guess his right so, leg is all bunched up. So yeah. his ankle and uh, both his legs. So he's cool. Shattered just one ankle. leg. Just his right leg. Oh. Uh, they said it was a compound fracture. Yeah. But this is what they said here. Oh, they said it was a com... com no, what the hell was it called? Combinated or whatever? Fracture. That means it didn't do a full break, but it broke and it like splintered up, Ew. which is freaky. Did you see the card though? Car yeah, 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 yeah. They needed the jaws of life to get him out. Really? Why is it all coming? That's a Bentley issue. What, what happened? He just uh, was well, going too fast or what? <laughs> Jay had <laughs> oh. oh, that was just the regular video. <laughs> What are you looking for, Chen? Just the car. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's a Bentley. Yeah. yeah was I bad. warming up with this video, or was I was I hitting hard? Oh, Chen, you guys? Was I opened no, up. No, what is it? What, Brian? Uh, the airdrop. Yeah, but sometimes you get me oh, when I'm just is. warming up. Because my speed is blinding. Now, this is what we got. So, so, you, so you accept that his challenge, right? is okay, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's fucking so insane. Way. I mean, that's, Especially that's after crazy. That. Yeah. Fuck. I know. And he was just driving by himself. He and said, he just he, he just, said no drugs or anything. He rolled and apparently where did it go? Good God, man, that's so scary to me. Mm -hmm. There was this uh, video on Instagram about this guy who was. Can you said it again, Malik. This when you see this this semi hit this this car and it mm -hmm. had a dash cam. He just slid off, boom, and just fucking. But I guess they they were okay. Ugh. These crumple zones are incredible. Where 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 the passenger. Stay, stay safe and everything else just crumples around it. it Look at that. Mm -hmm. Damn. Both sides just broke off. Well, let's see what we got. Okay, so you challenge uh, I don't Andrew know, man. This is We are rolling! Let me do a right hand and I'm going to do a left hand, okay, fam? Yeah, right. So, come, so, so one, two. Let me do it on the camera. So. Watch you look young right here, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look young right here. Yeah, you do look uh, young. This was this was pre. Uh, this was 2019. 2019. <laughs> oh, what? Man, my son's a good camera. Did you get all that? Uh, I got a lot of it. <laughs> we saw nothing there. Please don't send it. Right. What, else, what else do you have, Chin? I apologize. I apologize. That's an that awful video. <laughs> I Brian but don't ever send that again. <laughs> oh. You guys are talking about the uh, dark web and child pornography. Yeah. yeah. Do you hear about Travis Fulton, one of the like legendary MMA fighters? He had like over 350 he the most fights. most fights ever in MMA history. He is now indicted on child porno oh. pornography charges. Oh, shit. Yeah. I don't remember Travis Fulton. He was like a, like a legend, like a like weird a legend. journeyman. Yeah. He fought everybody. Wow. So He's there it says he tried to persuade a minor under the age of 18 to engage in sexually explicit content with his camera. And then he also possessed child pornography of a minor under 12. Piece of shit, man. Damn. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah, not good. And then you can see here, he also has like a, a charge on him too for beating up a girl. He's always like underground famous. Like he wasn't like a well-known guy. Do you, He's got a charge for beating up a girl too. I don't know. I, I mean, oh. I know of him, but never. Never met him. him any. No. Damn. Gotcha. Yeah. The most. He fought once in the UFC, like. 98 or some shit. There he goes. 320 fight resume. Damn. That's insane. That's not a journeyman. That's an Ironman. At least he'll yeah. be fine in jail. I don't know. 
Mm. Nope. Piece of shit, though. Mm. Yeah, they. Uh, I thought this was fascinating. This was brought up on a different show. But you, have you seen Dr. Carl Hart on Joe Rogan's podcast before? This guy? Yeah. I've watched his TED Talk. Yeah, so he's a very smart guy, very yeah, well spoken. He's a neuroscientist. He, he, he grew up, I think, what, in Miami? I'm not sure where yeah. he grew up. But he does, he admitted that he snorts heroin from time to time at night. Yeah. Well, he says if you don't do it with a sedative, so if you mix heroin with alcohol, you got problems. If you snort heroin on its own, what he says is that it, the idea that you can do, you, you do heroin and you're addicted for life or you smoke crack once you're addicted is completely bullshit. In fact, mm. yeah, in fact, if, like, you know, with mice, that comes from a study with mice where they, or different animals, different animals, I think even primates, where they give you the, the animal cocaine and the animal kept hitting the letter, lever until it died, until it did so much cocaine it died. However, when they give, gave the mice or the primates um, treats, and receptive sexual partners mm -hmm. and a, and activities to play, they didn't. They went and did that instead. So the idea is that when you are a person who has no other options but drugs, a lot of times that's what creates the addiction. If you have a life and a full life, you're less likely to be taken by the addiction. You're yeah. more likely to be a recreational drug user than you are, even with things like heroin. That's but his that, that's also from that's his, his thesis, thesis. Yeah, his, his perspective. perspective. Yeah, yeah. yeah, here's the other thing. Yeah, yeah great dude. The other <laughs> thing is he does these lines and talks about how he has withdrawals for twelve to sixteen yeah. hours. Well, that's mm -hmm. a problem. Yeah, yeah. it's all a right, problem. Then. You know, I don't think I, he says legalize all drugs, which I actually which I agree, agree with. with. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and he makes that argument. I think that's his central argument, but um. You know, it is it is still heroin. Yeah, do you have to do heroin every night? Yeah. You know? That's like fucking I, scary. He talks about how good it is. And he's he's my like, age, But when too. I don't do it, I have major yeah. withdrawals. It's when like, you're my age and you, like, I, if I drink two glasses of wine and I eat cheese, I get puffy. You, you know, it's exactly like, the same. Yeah. But the thing is, is he <laughs> also, but also, like, no one wants to go through those withdrawals. That's why they keep no. doing it. Bummer. Exactly. So yeah. I remember him talking on Rogan's podcast once about withdrawals. He's it's like it, you have a flu, right? It's like a flu. It's awful. I've had withdrawals before when I was t I was taking a Norco painkillers because uh -huh. you know I was, I was prescribed to it, and then when the refill came out or wasn't there's no more left, I had crazy withdrawals. I thought I was dying. Yeah. yeah. So I think for certain people, man, like it's you not still do kratom every day. Every day. Yeah. And and uh, how many do you take? I don't even know. Have you? You'll, you'll see me kind of like. What's up? Have you upped your dosage? No, it's always been the same. Yeah, same dosage. Yeah, no what. And, and, do, and I don't have withdrawals from kratom. Oh, do you? You take no. I mean, I, every day. I've taken do. Every day. one day yeah. off, and I didn't have really that bad. Sponsor on the show now. What do you? What do you <laughs> take? What are your? What are the things you take? What are the supplements you take? Nicotine, kratom. Nicotine. Uh, doesn't kratom. kratom and nicotine kind of? No, not at all. No. Uh, creatine, nicotine. Uh, no, I don't take creatine now. I take nicotine, fish oil. Multivitamin. That's about it. That's it. Protein powders. Yeah. After a workout. But what about so so why kratom? I just like the way it like like gets me ready for the show. Really? Mm. It calms you down or what does it do? No, I don't want to be calm for this fucking So what show. is it? That's weird, but for me it calms me down. I'm yeah, like But I'm there's like, different strands of Kratom. There's different types of Kratom. They are, but oh, yeah, I don't take the same shit. No, but they, I take all the different strands. I don't feel any difference from the different strands. I do. I okay. do. Like one, one, I won't feel anything. If it's a real like calming strand, I won't feel anything on it. That's more of a red vein. How much yeah. whiskey can you drink before you start feeling buzzed? Because you're a big boy. Uh, usually like four doubles. Four doubles. Uh, meaning meaning two, two shots in each one. So four shots. Oh, okay, four shots. And then you start feeling... Yeah, a little loosey goosey. And what about... How much would it take to, for you to get drunk? I mean, like... <laughs> if I'm doing that and I do shots between the shows, I'll be a little buzzed. Just, but I've never seen you drunk. No, never. No. Never. That's, that's... Yeah, I gotta agree. You still a whiskey gentleman? Oh, yeah. Yeah. My whiskey drops soon. Is it? Is it every, every, every evening you're having? No, uh, not every night anymore. I stopped doing that because I went cold turkey in January. Mm. I completely stopped in January. I'd say once a week now. You never drank. You never had a sip of alcohol. If I'm on the road, I'll like I'm in Tampa this Friday, Saturday. I'll I'll drink for the shows. Do you still do your wine? Do you dab? I, I just you know I, I don't know if I told you this, but I, don't, I couldn't figure out what the fuck was wrong with why wine wasn't tasting good. Wine fucking stopped tasting like wine after I had COVID. Mm. Yeah, my taste. Oh. That's my, that's my law. And I just realized that too. I was like. I'm, I'm opening these bottles of wine, and I'm like, it just doesn't taste good anymore like the way it used to. And coffee's a little bit the fun. same way. It fucked my taste. I have up. to drink it real strong I got some long-term 
damage from COVID in, in terms of my taste buds. Nice. Yeah. How's, uh, how's those lungs, Papa? 100%. I think it might be better. Yeah. I took that steroid, that inhalable steroid. Yeah. I fucking oh, it fucked with your lungs? In the beginning, I was I couldn't, you know, it was it hit my lungs and I was like, he I was, was like he was like hard. sick sick. I was sick. I didn't feel shit. Yeah, I, I, now the dragon the dragon was down. <laughs> the man dragon could still breathe fire. I could still singe you. Uh -huh. I want to thank everybody for making the man dragon a thing, guys. Yeah. <laughs> now <laughs> now I'm, I feel like I'm just gonna always say it. Yeah, I mean I appreciate it. But um It was a great thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh at the end of the day, it was it was humbling. So no more no humbling. more wine. You, were, you were fine. Yeah, I was fine. I'm not a pussy. It just I <laughs> see the amount of money I spent on wine, I'm not a pussy. <laughs> Never tell you time we were shooting this thing, we had to get on a horse. He's never ridden a horse. And well, Brenda, you're well yeah, we, yeah, there was a scene where we you wanted. Yeah, I, he 3D, was playing uh, yeah. Indian. He's playing a Native American. I'm playing a cowboy. We're Do you lovers. have that chin? I can look it up in there. And uh, oh, actually, we got taken down last time we we played it. Oh, really? Yeah, they pulled our yep. shit. Damn. So but we, you know, we had to ride. There's a big horse, stunt horse, Thank and, you. and I can ride. So I, I was, you know, had shots of me riding off and then coming back. But Brennan really never been on a horse, so Brennan was like, I was like, it'd be funny if we fall off together. But we have to get stunt. I'll just send you a picture. Get a stunt okay, I, I can yeah. probably look it up. Because it's a horse and it's riding. So if you fall off, you have to be a stunt man. Mm -hmm. So Brennan goes, why don't we just do it? And I go, because, well, because there's ground. And, <laughs> there's I mean, ground. it's shrubbery. And so you were scared. <laughs> yeah. Well, you may want to, you want to fall together <laughs> off a horse that's running. Yeah. And he goes, he goes, yeah. I go, no, 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 because, because we're not stunt men. We can get really hurt like that. And he mm -hmm. goes, you're such a pussy. <laughs> like he was dead serious. I was like, oh, man. I want to see it. Yeah, where can we see it? It's, it's on Vimeo. Great. They have like all of them on Vimeo, I think. God. So, but you don't have a picture though. Dude, look no. at us. Damn. I do. Oh, you do? He's, yeah, he's in it now. We spent the full day naked. Look at that. <laughs> Why were you <laughs> naked? Wait, wait, yeah. We full day naked. naked? We did Naked and Afraid. Oh, was, oh, oh, got it, got it. Have you not seen Fighter and Kids 3D? No. No, we haven't seen I don't, it. I, then you guys aren't fans. I think it's great, personally. Is it? Is it available? Yeah, it's uh, someone has it on Vimeo. I think it's the same guy. I think it was the director or someone. He has it on his channel. But I just can't play the sounds or oh, got it. or show it really. But let me see if I can search for it. That might be it, right? Yeah. Dude, <laughs> let me know if you fight, see him here. Fight scene we did. I know I these saw, are freaking these are great. Right I saw that audition when uh yeah. when Brendan was it's a cop. Is that great. Johnny Knoxville? No, it looks that's like him though. That's the great Mitch Rouse. Oh, oh fucking Will Sass. Remember Bully? Oh, this was. Y'all look so much younger back then. <laughs> No, that was a while ago, dude. That's probably yeah, six, seven, seven years ago. Yeah. What y'all did the YMCA re reshoot? Dude, we did all. There you are. Shit, oh. I'll just show you. Ah! Just watch. Just watch. Ah! Watch, watch, watch Look how Brendan goes. Oh, <laughs> so you just watch it, but then we'll cut it out. No. Bruh, the Apache. <laughs> that is dude. the best shit. Dude, how about see. that? You so what? You can't, re you can't release it. Fox owns them. Oh, dude, that was. How about that? that? I look back on that time as one of the greatest oh times my, of my bro. life. You don't realize it when you're doing it. I, and you'd never acted before, and he fucked That was buddy. great. Yo. It was so funny. I am man. <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> but I, I posted Tessa, the... Oh, uh, no. It's just you, no, the cop, the cop. The cop. Yeah, I yeah, saw that. That was that funny. That was great. So what? It was just like y'all just doing we different eight, skits? I think eight or ten parts. Series. We would sit yeah. down at a table like this. Yeah. Me, Brian, and Mitch. Um, Brennan and Mitch, and just we would just... We'd be sitting there like this, and then something, Someone somebody would idea. go, like, Brennan would be like, this is a stupid idea, but, and we'd go, well, it's not that stupid, and then it would just spark something. Yeah. Mm. And and I can honestly say that it was equal parts. All of us came up with yeah, ideas. So like, fun. all of us. Like, like, certain, ones, like certain ones are his funny. ideas, certain ones, like, it, certain it's episodes great. are That's so oh, how, how many episodes The whole series is just, ten. this whole series is just yeah. as good as we, that. We beat Game of Thrones and Amy Schumer show. On uh, for most more downloads on on the spot on the on iTunes. On iTunes. Oh, oh yeah, we had, we were on Colin Cowherd. The, watch, yeah, you was on Colin Cowherd. Yeah, because oh, yeah. we they couldn't believe what where our ratings were. What we're on on iTunes. Colin oh. Cowherd brought us on. Then after us, Colin Cowherd had Dana on, and that's when me and Dana were super beefing. Mm -hmm. And he goes, I, "I gotta bring up Brendan Shaw." He goes, "Obviously a talented and kid's a star. Like, don't you feel like you fucked up the relationship with it? Like, all the kids over here doing this, yeah. isn't he inspiring other fighters?" And Dana was like. He's whatever, and just moved on. Yeah. What? Oh, but dude, I mean, that, that thick of it. That yeah. was such a. That was that was different. Now how I hard we were laughing with Will Sasso. Oh my God, Will! Will! Will was playing a bully. He uh -huh. was a guy who and, wouldn't. He wouldn't die. We kept trying to kill him, mm. and he wouldn't die. 
Dude, go to that one, Chin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, I want to watch all. Bro, I want to watch all. Yeah, I kind of want to see all. The, the, the one with Will so it. fucking funny. I mean, what was that YMCA that's a, one? We did a video. Music video. <laughs> this was so weird. How about that video where you're dressed like a lion and I'm dressed like a deer? We did some great. weird shit. Okay, right, so this is the bully? Yeah, yeah. He's amazing. One second. I'm gonna mark this. I miss this shit. <laughs> <laughs> is it commercial for cologne the whole time? Immortal Bully. The new fragrance. <laughs> <laughs> It was a cologne. Yeah, it's, so <laughs> the it's, it's the longest, worst commercial of all time. I mean, Yo, it. Will is a beast. He's Did you a get beast. the picture, Chin? Yo. Yeah. It's so crazy, man. Well, the, the viewers and the listeners can't see any of that. I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. That's so well, they can. They just have to go to Vimeo. Just go to Vimeo, yeah. Yeah, yeah that was a long one. But it's Make good. it there's So, wait, can, can you guys get the rights to it? Or? No. Dude, no. some of them, some of them were just Fox Sports, pr- uh, you know, paid for it. So let me, oh, they paid. Oh, I thought y'all did it on your own. Yeah, they they did the budget, and then once we hit a certain number, they got their money back. Then we got a cut from that. Oh, everything was just improvised. Everything was yeah. like, what are we gonna on do today? Spot, How are we yeah. gonna do this? We gotta we gotta bury him. We are just trying to come up with yeah, fun. Man. It's dope. And you shot like what? That was eight amazing. Or nine? Yeah, the one, the dating one, where you have to find my yeah, you know, oh my like God, if you so in funny. case you die. We're interviewing. He, we had a bunch of like improv guys where me and Brian sit down with them in case Joanna dies, like who, who's, or in case I die, they, they, they got to replace me. So we interview all these improv guys, dude. It was funny. Most of the day, be, we couldn't be, get through it because I kept laughing. Oh, because oh, really? the guys kept. Oh, well, so the funny. actors, Mitch Rouse brought all his Second City motherfuckers. That oh, oh yeah, I could Second not, City Hollywood, oh, yeah. dude. dude those guys can improv come up class, with shit that that'll. Yeah. When we have time, that that that's that's my that might that oh, might have so been my funny. favorite one. So funny! It was so funny. They so they were funny. so good. Brennan had never really been around uh-huh. yeah. those kind of no. those kind of monsters. I was laughing so hard. Like you talking about guys in their forties and fifties who've been doing improv their whole life. They've been on, on everything, level. every sitcom, and, they've been on yeah. everything. Yeah. and then you see them like do stuff, and like you just say, "Oh, you're you're here, and you're somebody they're interviewing to be." A prospective candidate. Yeah, that's it. That's it's it. what I tell. Yep. And they just go. And they and sell like, themselves to me. Why they should re- replace me? It's so fucking. I funny. mean, it's so good. It was. It was. Up. I can't wait to watch it all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. So hard. Like, like they would come so up with shit funny. and just like that handshake. The guy who's doing the handshake. Yep. He's like worm in the apple. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> anyway, Where you at this weekend, Bri? Uh, <clears throat> uh, March four, five, and six. I am in Jacksonville. Uh, at the Comedy Zone, Jacksonville, Florida, and then March 11, 12, 13, Omaha, Nebraska, Funny Let's Bone, go. and just added Huntsville, Alabama, mm. March 26, 27, all 28. All the poppin' markets. Yeah, have you been to, to Huntsville? I don't know where. It's, it's Huntsville, Alabama. And so I heard it's that good. That's, the, that's that star dome. I'm not sure what it is. So you stand up live. I don't, I don't, is yeah. it stand up live? Is it stand up live in Huntsville? Huntsville, Alabama is interesting because it's where NASA, like all You've the been rocket there before, ships are. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then I saw it's that's the place I saw a guy with just walking down the street with an AK, like with a with an AR-15. Hell yeah! Over stand up live and shenanigans. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, which one are you doing? I'm stand up live. Stand up live. Oh. That's yeah, I it's a good club actually. Stand up live. Yeah, uh, great club. And then this weekend, Tampa, Florida, February 26th, 27th. That's this Friday and Saturday, Tampa, Florida, Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, hilarities, March 11th through the 13th. And then after Spokane, Washington, March 18th through March 20th. Tickets at fatkz.com. Chappelle, you're in Kansas City this weekend. Yeah, Kansas City this weekend, uh, the 25th through the 27th. And then uh, I'll be in Austin, Texas, March 5th. N6 at the Vulcan Gas Company. Yes, sir. Yes, Brian. Nice. Brian. Good to Fellas. see you again, buddy. Thank I love you. Love you guys. Yeah. You. We're out.